Good morning, everyone. We are back here, Outer Point Streaming here at Holland XQ Club here in Sussex Bowl in Sussex, Wisconsin. We are here for another grudge match. Actually, a challenge match. Grudge matches haven't started yet because there's been too many money matches that have come through. So those grudge matches will get started soon, but they haven't yet. So I apologize for that. We're starting a little bit late here. I'm uh, burning the candle on both uh, both ends here. Didn't get done my Friday night till 2.30. Finally got home after cleaning up and getting everything ready for this this morning. Probably got home around 3.30 in the morning. Finally got to sleep around 4.30. I was supposed to be up for a 8 o'clock appointment this morning. And needless to say, yeah, I did not make that. <laughs> it was way out in Hartford. It was for a golf outing committee. Uh, that we're, The outing's on Monday. We were supposed to get together for our final meeting before the tournament starts. And, yeah, I wasn't there. So, <laughs> anyway. So we are here now for a match against Mike Sabota and Wes Parrish, a race to nine. I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, and in the booth with me, I'm excited again, once again, to have Mr. Michael Parker. What is your nickname? Do you have Mo Ca Man Cave, Caveman? Caveman is what Dale always called me. All right, so me. Michael Caveman Parker volunteered to come down and sit in this match with me, so I certainly appreciate you taking the time to do that. Welcome, Michael, and are we, are we ready? I'm ready. This is going to be a good match. I'm excited for it. Are you sure you're ready? I think so. You don't look ready. Let's get it going. Maybe I need a beer. You still don't. You need a beer. You need a beer? <laughs> I think you need a beer. I'm going to finish my water. You don't first. look ready. Yeah, finish that water. You need some, you need some uh, talking juice. All right, so you want to give them the thumbs up? There they go. All right, here we go, folks, and we are off to the races. I turn the lights off here. Much better on the you see the screens better. Seeing stuff. Let's see who takes. Yeah, it looks like Wes has got it. Yeah, that's going to be an easy call. He like waited almost until Mike's ball was halfway. Yeah, down. He <laughs> and you know to, he wanted to see how much <laughs> faster. Yeah, yeah he's like, let's see where he almost ends up at. All right, so we're we're gonna have it's almost like uh, oh uh, Michelle Michelle go grab that ball. It's almost like uh, uh, oil and water with these two guys because uh, it's it'll be interesting to see how this plays out because uh, as I was saying last night on the stream, Mike is a very quick player, um, and Wes is a very slow player. So we'll see how this works out. We got a comment there. Remember, you can throw those up to the screen too. Now the Facebook and the YouTube are coming through on those, so. All right, show me again where I have to do this. Just left mouse click on it. Yep, and hit send. There you go. There we go. I'm sure you got their last names right. Janice or Jace Thielman. Oh, Mr. Jace Shithead Thielman. He's wondering if you got the names right. Well, yeah, I did for them because I, I screwed his name up. I put the... Because oh. it's T H E I L, and he I put T H I E L, uh, and I said it's just an I and E. It's the same damn thing. It's perfectly fine the way it is. He's giving you trouble right away. Isn't yeah, he? that's that's Jace. Now I don't know Wes very much. I might have heard his name, but I've never watched him shoot. Mike Sabota, I've watched before. He is a fast shooter, like you said. Yeah, Wes used to come up to my Friday nights, but I think uh, because he lives, I think, in Illinois. Either that, it's right on the. Oh no! Well, it's right on the border, Union Grove. He used to live in Illinois, but he's an H HVAC guy, and I know uh, he gets pretty busy during the summer months. But uh, he used to come on Friday nights, but he doesn't anymore. Nice no. breakout. Yeah, it was. That was a good breakout. So this is a race to nine. Race to nine for five hundred Monopoly dollars in the middle. Mike Sabota is a five twenty Fargo, and Wes Parrish is a four eighty nine. I think Wes is a little underrated with that number. I think he he doesn't play a lot of tournaments that report to uh, to Fargo. I know Illinois is not real huge on reporting to Fargo. Now he told me when I got here that uh, he hasn't been playing a whole lot lately, so he's well. He probably hasn't because, again, like I said, that being an HVAC, this is the yeah. busy time of the year that those HVAC guys are pretty much doing nothing but working. Yeah. It's been good weather, too. Matter of fact, if Gary Tesh is watching, he's been – he's supposed to have gotten on a job of mine for, like, the last six months. And uh, 
I, I know he's been pretty busy, but uh, I really got to get that job done. Now, the people actually moved back yesterday. So they're back. They're in the house right now, kind of enjoying a half house because of the way that. Uh, well, he's going to have a problem getting on that six ball. Yeah, the five might even be hard to get to also. He's looking at it right now. If he can get down here and take that five and then shoot the six all the way up the far corner. Yeah, I tell you what, he's got perfect position to take this four, get himself in a, at a good angle for the seven um, to get down on the five. To Yeah, to, to get on that six. I mean, it, it's nice that he left that five there knowing that that six, yep, and that's the angle he's looking at right there. How can I slide past right in between that six and ten and get on that five ball? Because that's what he needs to do. So pocket speed here now. And the other thing, too, is if he does get off angle, if he gets a little too far, he could actually take the 7 in the side and run into the 15 ball and take the 6 in the, in the sure. corner, too. Use it as a stop. Yep. Yeah. All right, so he did not get the angle he wanted, as you can see from the overhead here. He's definitely not at the angle he wanted. Yeah, it looked like he put a little bit of left draw on it, brought the cue ball straight back towards him more. But honestly, the tangent line, now the tangent line is still okay here, but the problem is he's got to hit this ball so hard because he's barely cutting it. So he, he can't hit it soft. He's got to almost hit it pocket speed, and if he does hit it pocket speed, it looks like the tangent line is going to take him off the short rail and possibly run right into the 10. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what it looks like is that he's got the wrong angle. Not where he wanted to be, but I think it'll work on. As long as he gets a pocket speed. Oh, Ew. Almost got through it. Kind of almost like he, he almost looks like he pushed he pushed that ball in. Unless the, the tangent line looked a little different from the overhead here. But uh and, and again, we can look at it all day on these screens, but it, it you get down on the table and it's it, it looks different. Most of the time you can see it pretty good, but He's got to go for a kick here, doesn't he? Just yeah. Uh, he might still have a good lead if he uh, hits it soft enough. I'm not quite sure what he's. Oh, okay. So he's he's like he's looking at where if he ends up hitting it too hard if he's got a shot at the six in that opposite corner. But that tell you that thirteen ball is looming large right now, and that almost looks like just a half a pocket. Because I think he's looking at going possibly two rails, two rails. Yeah, he's he's shooting that kind of an angle like it's a two railer for him. Oh, what a shot! Wow, what a great shot! Yeah. Unfortunately, oh man, shoot, man, I wish I could have had my I had my replays going on that. Duck on it. It looked like he was trying two rails on that, but boy, he hit it uh, straight in with the one rail kick. Yeah, he actually and he you, hit that real good too. What do you do here? I mean, you see a safe any anywhere on there? Ugh. Man, this is a tough one. I mean, the only thing that maybe slow roll it and try to get it in front of that 12 and 15, you know, almost block the pocket sure, to the point where. The short rail, yeah. At least tie the pocket up. Right. That's what he's Kinda, doing. Well, he did block the pocket for the 15 but the, obviously mike can use the 12 to get on that yep. 15 ball or even knock the six knock, out of there knock the six out or knock the 15 out of there so you know, he's got his work cut out let's see what mike does on his first time at the table that might not be where he wanted but i think he's all right I think he was trying to get in between the six and the fifteen. Yeah, I think he was, but he, he still has. Uh, oh, I don't know if that was. Uh, I think he just hooked himself right in the middle. The fourteen in the side is probably the only. That's about the only thing he's got. <clears throat> Nice and soft. He can come down here on the short rail and uh, have a shot up with a 10, maybe. Careful, they don't knock that 8 in. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's taking the Oh, he's just playing safe. it safe. Yeah. Good shot. 
Good choice. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, I would have rather hit that ball a little less, not not as hard, because now you basically gave you, you gave Wes a place to save. What is what's Wes doing? He's just tying him up, oh. giving him ball in hand and tying him up. Okay. That's not a bad choice, really. He took away his breakout ball. Yeah, oh, well, he's got the 10 ball right here to break yeah. things out, so. If he can get them both out at the same time. What did, okay, uh. Okay, McCain Peters, let's go, Sabota. What's up, McCain? McCain was here last night for my Friday night. I'll tell you, that worked out for Mike, because he got perfect position on this 15 to run right it. into this 12 ball or the 6 ball, either one. You got to put some right English on it to get yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Or, yeah. Oh, well, not much. that much. See, that's I was about to say. That's a problem. You don't want to get too much because what he did was he put draw and right on that, and that's why it slid right down the rail. If you're looking at doing that, you just put a ton of right on it instead of right and draw because. Can he get that cue ball through there? It sure looks like it from the overhead. Let's look at the overhead. I don't think he oh, he can get it through gonna, there. I think he's going to save him. Yeah, he can get it through there to hit it, I think, but I don't think he can make it the ball. And see, this this is where the problem is that you run into when you start playing too many say or the wrong safes. See, he yeah, he tied Mike's ball up. Yeah, he got ball in hand, but he tied that ball up to a point that if he got ball in hand, now he can't make this ball. And yeah, you can play another safe. That's fine, but at some point you got to think. Okay, because he could have actually made contact with his six ball. That was a good shot. Yeah. Tied him right up on that ball. Very good shot. Going back to the leg, I got a question. Is there a, a rule that you're supposed to both shoot at the same time through the leg? I mean, it seems I, like it would be a little unfair if you watched the other person shoot and then took yours. There is. It's it's kind of an unwritten rule that you need to go at the same I mean, Try. not everybody goes at the same time. Right, but not at the exact same time. But you know, if you wait until the other, the other player's ball stops, yeah, I mean, that's obviously... Well, West didn't wait till it completely stopped. No, he didn't. But I was just curious if there is. Uh, I never asked that question before. Little cheddar, what's that? A bunch of lips or, or uh, giving us a? Oh, what the hell does he want? A kiss or something? There, I don't know. God only knows what he wants. Yeah, that's a big kiss. He's sending that to you. I bet. He is sending that one all your way. Thanks, little chatter. Great to see that you're watching. Is his wife going to let him out of the house to come here for the big match this afternoon? Bigger match? <laughs> Doubt it. Ed. No, I got... Uh, I got Jeff Brown wanted to really get it. I actually had uh, Nick Pachulius Pichu coming in for that one, but uh, um, Jeff Brown was here last night, and he's like, oh, Charlie Wolf, because he's been teammates with Charlie and Bill both. He's just like, oh, man, I'd really like to get in on that one. So I sent Nick a message and said, hey, uh, Jeff, well, there goes game one to West Parish. So Jeff, uh, Jeff really wanted to get in on the one tonight, so I sent Nick a message saying, hey, uh, there's somebody that really knows these guys and wanted to wanted to get in on this one, so it's going to be myself and Jeffrey Brown in the booth tonight. That'll be a good match, too. I, I, that, like, I like both players. Yeah. I know them both very well. Dale hasn't really uh, scheduled to come down for, for much. Um, we are having a uh, – I'm actually making the flyer up now. We're going to have a battle of the border. Two Illinois players against two Wisconsin players. Do we know who they are yet? I do. but Do we get to know who they are? You get to know after <laughs> we're done. Kane <laughs> Peters, <laughs> did, Yenner, Yenner, did Dan win last night? Yes, sir, he did. Pretty handedly. Um, unfortunately, I mean, Mark had his opportunities. Dan, Dan shot well. Mark uh, had his opportunities, but uh, he didn't capitalize on them. And I, I think the stream, that's the first time I think Mark's ever played on a stream 
uh, as far as a money match. So I think he was just a little nervous. But he did. He ended up winning 11 to 4. And here's your sideball break special, folks. This is why I hate sideball breaks. Well, he had a good one the first break. It's the, it was better than this one, but it still wasn't the best. But this is definitely the worst because you get this sideball break where everything goes to one side. Ah, yuck. Little Cheddar wants to know, is there going to be better commentary for tonight's match? No, absolutely not. Be even worse if you came down, so thank God you're not coming down. All right, so looking at this rack here, Mike is uh so he's taking his three ball combo. I'll he tell you what. Good position for man, that. Man, that uh, uh fourteen, hold up. Yeah, he did. He got great position for that nine. He's gotta get out of there though. He's gotta There has a lot of traffic to get what the tangent line is going to take him right between the three and six, just like that. But he had to be careful coming out. He had yeah, to. He doesn't have a shot there, I don't think. No, no, and that's what he's looking at right now. He's yo. Now he's caught up. So now it's either you're going to have to play some kind of save, bring the cue ball down by his uh, ten ball, maybe either that or jump it. And it looks yeah, like he cool. does. He does have a window to get through that. Two and five to at least make a good hit on the fourteen to eleven. So I, if he can see that a play here, it'd be just barely contact the fourteen and try to get right behind that. Oh, oh we could make shot. it! Wow, that was a great shot. L. Jordan says, "Hey guys, what's up, L? How are you, sir? Been a while." You're much better at, at throwing these comments over than Jeff Brown, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you yelled at me every time. I <laughs> you, so I... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was a that was a great shot by Mike. I didn't think that he was. could see that ball. Oh, oh, look oh wow! That. Look at that! Look at how look at how that came out for him. I tell you what, the shot here would be 15 ball, stun it over right towards the three. Sure, take that 13 down. Yep. You just don't want to hit this too hard to get a bad angle on that 13 ball. He hit that perfect. He could have been a little, he wanted to be maybe a little bit more towards the three ball. Because I don't know, that, that pocket, that's, that's a, a, that's a, a pocket, that's man. a, yeah. He's got to draw it straight back when careful he doesn't get behind the one. But it, it's it's more of he's got to be careful not to run that five. If he's drawing it back, it's going to change it just a little bit. It looks like he's aiming for that outer point because I don't think he's got the full pocket. Well, he might be trying at 10, yeah. He's got to come around for that 13. That yeah, this, the I'll tell you what, here. this is, this is going to be... He's going to have to put a lot of... Are we not seeing something that... Well, maybe that 13 does go down here. Does it? Slow roll. The overhead view kind of... Thank you. Looks like it's possible. If nothing else, a rail first and off the six and carry him in. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. He's looking at it like he thinks it'll go. Another half a pocket or a quarter pocket on this one. Nothing else, he'll leave it in front of the pocket if he hits it at the right speed. He's got to hit it. He's got to hit it pocket speed. Wow, wow. Man, I tell you what. He had a shot on the eight too, straight down. That was a good try. We're gonna look at that one again. Okay, uh B V uh would Man. Jeffrey Brown play me? Long Vong, five forty eight Fargo, Illinois player. He knows me. Oh, he might. Tune in tonight and uh tune in tonight and ask him. I, and then, uh, he probably would. Mark Anderson is asking uh I'm addicted to these streams now, watching at work, <laughs> laugh out loud. What's up, Mark? Hey, I got to get you in the booth sometime soon, man. Let me know when you're, uh, what your work schedule's like and when you're available, because uh, we'll get you in the booth. Oh, I think he might have left Mike that opening. He does have a, yes. at least he can hit it, any, if anything else. I think, he, I think I think he can make it. Just got to put a good stroke on it. It looks like he might be trying to spin it maybe a little bit. 
Can't really tell from the overhead if he's got it or not, but he's just put a good stroke. Oh, he, oh, he did have it. He overcut it. He did put some spin on it, it looked like, and that might have thrown it over the pocket a little more. Well, this is not an easy start for him to be able to get on these balls and get them worked out. Wes has got to make this first shot. He's got the six ball, I think. Yeah, he's got the yeah. six. Gonna get right behind that three. Ball. Yeah, that's not where he wanted to end up being. He would have rather been a little bit either right on the one ball or towards that corner pocket that he could uh, take the three ball. But I'm seeing a safe coming here. Oh yeah, or get up a little higher to make sure uh, you got out to the middle of the table. He just needed to stroke that one a little bit, a little bit harder. Oh, he did, and he's sort yeah. right up on there. Yes, he did. That was a good shot. He's looking at this angle here. Mike is pretty much pretty much buried. So he, it looks like he's going to kick at it two times. Z-Bank. Z-Bank kick. Oh, he's awful close to that four ball if he can get by it. Let's take a look at watch this on the overhead here. And it came... Came up a little, little too little long on chatter. that. Uh, too yeah, oh, he went a little long on uh, long, on that yeah. bank. Yeah, I tried to sneak cheddar in there somehow. Oh, don't worry, we'll get here. This is how we'll sneak cheddar in there. Idiot. <laughs> 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 Got some more comments come through there. Nope, not yet. Oh, sweet. So it looks like we got our Facebook and YouTube comments coming through. Appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this match between Wes Parrish and Mike Sabota. Race to nine for five hundred Monopoly dollars in the middle. On rock number two, with Wes Parrish taking the first game down. If you're just joining us, I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, and I got in the booth with me a very good friend of mine, Mr. Mike. Caveman Parker. Hey, everybody. This is going to be a good match. Uh, 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 be just good don't match. get right on. He's, he's, he's fine with the four. He's got the four ball, but he would. His speed is not there for him. He's he's overshooting just about all of them. He's, yeah, well, some he's overshooting, some he's undershooting. Like that, that six ball, he wanted to come back around the middle table. So, yeah, he's just got to work. I think it's the. It's the first game jitters, you know. Right. First game, you're kind of learning the, the speed of the table. Kind of, okay, I'm, I'm in this match. Let me just relax, calm down a little bit here. Yeah, I got to talk to him a little bit before we started, and uh, that was uh, mentioned by him, you know, getting them first couple of games down. And like he said, he hasn't practiced very much lately, so he's got to got to get used to the table and get his nerves in there and go. Greg Turkanian, a new subscriber to the channel. What's up, Greg? That's my Thanks. buddy, Greg. Thanks for the subscription, my fine young man, friend. He's my teammate. He's a good guy. A lot of people uh, don't get his humor, but uh, once you get to know him, he's uh, absolutely he's a pretty guy. funny guy. Good guy. But yes, if you are out there on Facebook, please get over to YouTube, and also please tell all your friends to get out there and. It'll help the stream grow, and it'll help uh, help with actually. Once we get to that thousand subscribers, that can start monetizing and raising some money. Um, it's been very. I tell you, all the players have. There's only been one player so far that has. Um, I have them sign a player agreement, and it's 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 not like I'm begging for. It's I really don't need it, but for the people that come in and help commentate. You know, I'd like for them to to get something out of it. Obviously, get a meal, but then on top of it, you know, the, the almost every single player so far that's played the stream has been very gracious and and tipped the commentators. Yes, they have. So we certainly appreciate that greatly, greatly, greatly. Um, Al Jordan just commented that don't forget to upgrade your YouTube settings. They had me at 480. Yes, yes, absolutely. And that's that's a, a, a key thing to say is that uh, I appreciate, Al, you saying that because, uh, yes, when you're on YouTube, uh, it's like de a default comes through at 480. So make sure you click on the little cog, 
little cog icon on the bottom there and go into video settings and push that up to high def 1080p because that's the way I am pushing these streams through at 1080p. It's so much clearer, so much better quality. And you can push it up to your TV and see everything. I mean, you can literally see the, uh, like when Kugel was playing, you could see like the spots on his head. It was so shiny. This is a tough shot, right? It here. is. It, I, I don't I don't like him cutting this this way. I mean, either way, it's, it's tough to hold it for that eight ball. Either way you go. He's looking at taking it to the left so that he can draw off the long rail to come back for a shot on the eight. But he definitely did not leave himself an ideal position here. That's that's for sure. Yeah, I think I'd cut to the upper upper pocket. Yeah, because you can actually make that ball pocket speed, and well, he uh, got away with it. He did. But now this shot right here, the way I shoot, I would be kicking that, come right behind it, and kick it to the side. I don't think I'd cut that down a rail. I don't know why I like that, like that choice for me, but <laughs> yeah. That's what he's doing, I think. Well, he's oh, he's, he's bank go he's right straight banking it. it. Yeah, he's going right at it. And he's really just got to just aim a little left side of this ape and hit it hard. Oh, oh no. shoot. That's and not he, what he wanted and put the ape ball right by the pocket. Well, this is going to leave a pretty easy two ball out for West to go up two to nothing here in this race to nine. Yeah, that's unfortunately not what Mike needed or wanted at this point in the in the match here. Yeah, it's a short race too, so you don't want to get too far behind right at the beginning. Yeah, they originally wanted to they originally wanted to race to 13, um, but this date was open, but unfortunately I, I have a commitment that I have to get to um, around 3 o'clock. So then once uh, the race to 13, then I said, um, then they, they got it dropped down to 11, and then honestly I said, well, if we're starting at around 10 o'clock, I really need you guys to finish up by... Um, by three o'clock has to be done by three o'clock so i'm thinking if it goes hill hill we could end up finishing right around three so i said look i need you guys to race the nine because you know nothing I, wes is a great great guy nothing against him i don't say this in any ill ill way at all but he, he is a very he's a slow player and it, it is what it is i mean there's a lot of players that are that are slow sure. now granted i said mike is mike is a fast shooter wes is a slow shooter but it could even out, so sure it'd be could. fine. But I just I, I couldn't take that chance. I said, look, I, I need you guys to go to nine. And we got Fred Renners. Is uh, Fred? Good morning, fellas. Good morning, Fred. How are you? Yeah. Nice to see you in here. Please get out there and like and share this stream for me, please. He also asked, uh, yes, Dan one is what he commented. Yes, sir, he did. Well, we got another sideball break special here, folks. we we'll be saying it all day because I think Wes is hooked on that sideball break. It's a mess. This time it looked like he hit the second ball instead of the head ball. He's always been hitting second ball. I think the last break it looked to me like he was a little on the, on the head ball. I don't think he meant to hit head ball right. because it, it was it was more of the second ball, and that's the – I. I guarantee 100% the way that those balls reacted, he hit second ball because that's why when you don't hit it correct or you don't hit it exactly where you need to, all those balls go to one side of the table. And that's why I, I say it all the time. Side ball break special, folks. Is That is the crappiest way to start a game is to have all those balls to one side of the table. Well, I tell you, that was, that was a great, great was effort he, by was Mike. Was he trying to six ball or trying to sneak the now, 15? He was trying to sneak the 15, I'm pretty sure, because it almost looked like it would have gone if he would have hit it correctly and just just missed that that, uh, that six ball. But here's the thing is that I think at this point, see, Mike, Mike is not, you know, 
I, Mike used to come my Friday nights all the time until he moved up to Fond du Lac. But in watching Mike play a lot, he's not one of those guys that uh, he doesn't like to play a lot of safes. And there are many people out there that, that don't like to do that. We got Fred Renner. He's uh, said he shared to all my area pool player pages and to his Facebook. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. That's awesome. Appreciate that, Fred. You the man. He's also the. I tell you what. Oh, well, you know. You have you heard of Fred before, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, pickled asparagus and salsa guy and yes. pickle yes, pickle a whole lot of stuff. I've heard you and Cheddar. Oh talking my God! About that. Phenomenal. Maybe he'll bring some down for us. Hey. Well, if Fred ever gets down this way, I tell you what, Fred, if you ever get to, down this way, you got to bring some. We could sell you out. He's got that two ball. It's going to be a tough one unless he can get uh, a breakout off of yeah, something. Yeah, let's look here, at the overhead here. I don't think that. That two ball definitely does not go in the side, and it does not go. There's not a pocket. Yeah, that, that, right that's, in a, that's in one of the worst places possible for a ball because it literally is – it has no pocket right now, so he's got to get a little bit of rub on that. He's looking at it. if he takes the three, then come off the five to kick it, but uh, he could get it tied up there, too. Yeah, he could uh, run in that, too, and scratch in the side, depending on what angle he comes in at it at. Yeah, I kind of like just stopping right there. Put that three and just stop right there. Yeah, but you're... You're cutting that five ball so much, though. I would like to use some top, come off the lo the right side of that three ball, come off that long rail, spin it back inside to get. Oh, he tried to draw into it. See, I don't. Oh, now he just messed yeah, up a six. He's, now he's got two problems. See, balls. I don't like the. I don't like that shot of trying to draw in. I, I don't know if he was trying to draw into the two or if he was just trying to draw back to get on the four six. Try I'm to get not down the end of the not table. quite sure. But if he was trying to draw into that two, I don't like that shot because let's say you hit that two ball full and that cue ball stops right in that nine ball and the two ball goes against the long rail. You have no well, shot. that five ball doesn't go past the ten and you have no shot on the two and now you're, you're kind of hooked. I would have rather, almost like you were talking about, like get back to the center of the table to be able to cut that five in the bottom right corner and run into those balls because you still had your four ball Oh, well, I tell you what, he he got a oh, nice, came, nice roll. Came there. out small like roses there. So the only issue he has here, he's got to take that five ball now. I would think so. Yes, he has to because if he takes the two, he he can't slide over enough to take the five. He's got to break the six out as well, though. Yeah. So I think he looks like I, I think he's looking at. Here, the two off the six. Yeah, let's look at this angle. Yeah, he was looking at just maybe barely hitting the six ball. But, Matt, this is a tough shot. Very tough shot. You have to hit this ball hard enough to get past the cue ball, past the eight, past the 15, so you can then see the six ball because you're going to push that six ball to that short rail. So you got to be able to make sure you can see it even if you do clip it a little bit. It looks like he's putting draw on. I'm not quite sure what he's... He's going to try to set for the five after he makes it. Oh, he didn't yeah. hit it. He was trying to hit it. Let's see. Here Here again. Okay, let's say, let's say he did clip that six just a little bit, okay? Now what do you got? You have to cut this five ball in, and you have to run around all this traffic to get back up table. The shot there would have been to put some top on that, try to run into the six ball, Get that cue ball in between the 8 and 13 and push that cue ball past past those two balls and even past the 15 to be able to see the 6. Then you could have had, if you were able to see the 6, you could have spun that around two rails to get back on the 5 ball. All right, so here we go. Now we're back to a, a safe game. Yeah, well, he's got the 14, but that's not the easiest shot there either. Well, no, I'm just saying Wes is, you know, no. he just ended up playing safe because he didn't have anything, so now we're back to a, a safe game here. And So Mike's got to decide at what point do I safe him back. That was a great, that was a great first shot coming in from Mike. I think he's going to have to go right here with the save. Well, I tell you what, this, this, would, be the, this would be the shot right here. 
push that 12 ball up table a so little you can bit. Make it next time. I, I just push it right towards the side pocket. I think he's calling it all the way I down. I think he is. Oh, and here again, like I said, yeah. Mike is Mike is not known to play. Oh, well, he just right. buried that six ball even more. Well, so he made himself. Uh, <laughs> He made himself buried pretty good, too. But yeah, well. Wes has got to break something out, probably. Yeah, but looking at the overhead here, though, I tell you what, that 15-12 oh, combo, sure. that 15-12 combo might go. If he can get, if he can just get a sight on that 15 ball, I think that 15-12 combo definitely goes, and he'll be able to break it out really nice with that. Uh, what do you think Wes is looking at here? You think he's going to try to carry him that five off the eight? No, he's looking to have some safe somewhere. Because well, what's your reward in that? There's no reward in that. No, that's what he's doing to see. <clears throat> yeah, Mike is looking right at that 15-12 going, yep, that goes. And now here's the thing. West just pushed that ball out of the way for the 9-13, which is going to make that 9-13 a little easier for Mike. So Mike has just got to bear down right here, make this ball. Just like that, and get up table, just like that. Oh, I'll that. tell you what. That's that's nice. <laughs> he couldn't ask for anything better right there. Does he take that 12 now so he can get that mess taken care of? So he I would. I mean, because you don't know where that 15 ball is going to end up, so you might as well take it now. But here's the thing. He's almost in perfect position right now to take that 13 ball. Yeah. Get that 13 ball out of it just so you have a clear path to that 9 and not worried about it. Look at that. Just like that. I tell you what, that ended up great because now he's got natural shape. He's got to just put a little draw on this to go straight down the rail. Don't hit this too hard, though. If you hit this too hard, you hit a little bit too hard. He's okay, but... Now he's looking at he's going to run into the harder. he's going to run into the eight ball. He's got to be careful how far he pushes that eight ball down. Yeah, he doesn't want to push it too nope. so close to the six or on the rail and not have a good angle to get back on it. Oh, he missed the eight ball. A little hard again. Yeah, right. but that's okay. He's he's perfectly fine. He'll be all right. I guess it's better to be long than short. Yeah, I tell you, that was that was a good job of missing that eight ball. <clears throat> He's got to put a good stroke on this, make sure he doesn't get behind the five ball. And he did. He put a great stroke. Oh, no. He's, yeah, he's, he should be he's fine. All right. He's at the 50-yard line, but at least he's not right up against that eight ball. If he was right up against that eight ball, that would not be good. It's a good look at it down here. These, these are tough shots. When you're close to the ball like this and you're cut into a blind pocket, and he drilled it, good for him. Nice shot. Hey, that was great out. Great out. So yeah, that that's uh when that twelve ball rolled down there, that it rolled up in a very nice spot for him. Yeah, we got Mike on the board finally. That's what he's uh yep. been wanting, I'm sure. Two to one. Get that get that first game off your monkey off your back. And now you're off to the races, so Well, I'm gonna take a minute real quick here and read uh Wes's uh player profile I'll sheet. I'll turn the light on for you there. Okay, it's uh, Wes, they call himself Snipes, or his nickname is Snipes Parish. He's 44, he's from Union Grove. He shoots with a Jacoby, and uh, what did he say his... Q-Tech Q -Tech Q -Tech shaft, shaft. With a, I forgot what type of tip, tip he said. He's been playing eight years. Chip, Chip Lulk down in the, he's in the house here, says, hey, hey guys. guys, what's up Chip? See you down there practicing. I see you're just about done now. So he's been playing eight years? Sorry to yep, mean to yep. bother he's you He's been playing eight years. His favorite drill to get in stroke is Banks. Uh, favorite place to eat in Wisconsin is Cooper's Hawk. Something that nobody knows about him. I just put a smiley face, so I'm not sure what that means. But well, we're going to make something up. He's got He's got three outer points. He says his uh, way he got started playing pool is through watching Corey Bloomer's uh, play state uh, winners. Yeah, he said he watched Corey Bloomer's play state tournaments and ended up winning a state tournament, and it kind of got him hooked. So, yeah. Corey Bloomer's another shout out to Corey. Yes, another good guy. Chip is leaving the house he's done with his practice he's actually playing monday night him and gary tesher matching up on uh, monday night 
Chip324 says shout out to Brian for his efforts uh, to further the pool community. Thankfully, he takes time to help us 400. Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 why did, I'm not quite sure of that shot. Not quite sure why he did that. And that 13 ball did go, but now it doesn't. I'm not quite sure why. Huh. Yeah, he's just kind of uh, pocketing <laughs> balls. It doesn't look like he's got a method yeah, to where I mean, he's going. He, he was in perfect position to actually get on that 12 ball right after his next shot if he wouldn't have drew back so much on that. I'm not he's got quite, the break going. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but what? What do you now? get out of it now? You got to be careful where you, how you take that break, that breakout. And see here, this is where again now he's he's taking all his pawns off the table. So if if I was him, I'd I'd just play a safe somewhere. Don't don't take those balls off because now if you don't play a safe. You well, know, that's a, that's there's a whole bunch of balls out there for West to uh, hide you behind and, and get to where he wants you to be. Well, there's a pretty open table here. Let's we'll see if Wes uh, can put this all together. There's no real problem balls here. Well, this this two five at his angle, he's got to be careful where he puts his five ball. His five ball is going to be going right towards that long rail, towards that 12, unless he draws out of this. He's going to push that five ball right. Toward. Okay, oh, he, he did out, good. Got out of it. He did good on that one. Because I knew, knew that five ball was going to come this way. It's just if he were to put it down on the rail by the 12 and not put it by the pocket there, that was going to be a bad spot for him. But he, he hit I, that good. I draw off this five a little bit and try to get on that four. Yeah, it's. I would not run into that 12 yeah. or 10 ball. I mean, bel ball. believe it or not, six. though. That one and three are not in great spots with that six ball sitting in the pocket that much. As you can combo that, yeah, but the six ball in the pocket that much, you got to be real careful of where that that your object ball that you're pushing into the six goes afterwards. So, but that four ball is in a bad spot. My seven ball would be my out ball. So yeah, I would do just what you're talking about. Draw out of this, come down table, get to that four ball. And try to get up in a position where get the six out of the way. Right the away. six out of the way, or combo a ball. Maybe get on the three, combo the the three into the six, so you have a shot for a little hard again. But yeah, yeah. And he just shook his head like, yep, yeah, I know it. Gonna mess up that seven, I think, if he cuts this in. Yeah, I think he's gonna run into run into the. He might run into the. Yeah, can't tell. Look like oh, he's maybe just save. I don't think he got away with that one, though. No, he definitely left Mike a look at the 13. He can't see the 12. I mean, right. he might be able to see an edge of it, but obviously he can hit this 13 ball pretty easily here. Take up the pocket anyway. He's going to try yeah, to but follow it. Taking, taking up that pocket, it, he's going to have to get the cue ball out of there and take up the pocket at the same time because if he leaves the cue ball there, then he's... Wes has got the one and the three in the sides. He's going to try to make it follow. Yeah, I don't think uh, that's going to be what he wants. Yeah, almost, almost if that 13 ball would have gone in front of the one, might have been a little little help for him there, but unfortunately it didn't. So, Kenny Kanalowski says, Hey, Brian and Mike Parker, you What's guys up? do a great job. I'm Saying Mike by two games. Okay, he's going for Mike Sabota. What's up, games. Kenny? We also got Billy Larson. Oh boy, Bill Larson's playing tonight. Yeah, he says, Morning, fellas. What's up, Bill? That's going to be a good match. Yeah, it will be. Him and Charlie Woof. Woof. He's drawn back a little too far, but I think he'll be okay. Thanks, Kenny. Appreciate the kind words, sir. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He played that good. Natural shape. Don't do anything funny with it. Just natural shape. Get get what you want an angle on this four ball anyway. Didn't want it too straight. I just roll forward. Roll forward. This you come off the come off the short rail. You can take it up in the in the corner or in the side if you come a little little taller. But you should be aiming for a spot. 
and picking a pocket. It only helps your game. Oh, and he, he missed, he missed it. it too. Oh, well, he didn't leave Mike an easy shot. But well, he left him an easy safe. Yeah. I didn't see that coming that way. Yeah, and, and look where. Well, here's the thing: the leave on the eight ball would not have been where he was had he made it, but right. but he still would have been about the fifty yard line, just at a different angle. Mike's and just playing there's the safe. The safe. But, uh, I guess no. he can't see it. No, he's uh, he hit that good. He perfect speed to get him stuck right behind that eight ball. You see from this angle here that uh, he's gonna have to kick it off the yep, kick it off the short rail, come back side of that four ball. And the thing about here is I, I like the shot selection because if he gets a good hit, he's gonna have to hit it hard enough to get that four ball to the rail. But if he gets a good enough hit, he's going down towards that pocket that could possibly block that pocket for Mike to have any kind of a shot. And unfortunately, he did. Oh, he put that eight in a bad spot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We had three games like that last night that had that. Either an object ball or the eight ball was right at that spot. And I'm like, oh, that is... Like if some if it when I, I start when the game starts oh whoa caught the outer point on that if I break and I see a ball going to that spot I don't care if it's a solid I don't care how bad the stripes look I'm taking stripes because that spot over there where that eight ball is is absolutely horrible now it's not this one here Jerk they're they're back. fortunate it's off the rail no just come straight back across the table like that but he missed it. Um, he tried pushing that. Yeah, he tried to steer it down there. But uh, the fortunate part about where that eight ball is is it's far enough off the rail where it's not too difficult, but it's still difficult if you don't get straight on. Okay, we got uh, Kenny Kowalski says, Scott Haskins and I will be doing another challenge match, but Scott is, is not allowed to wear that shirt. <laughs> Laugh a lot. I I look forward to playing Mike Sabota on July 23rd. Yeah, I mean, actually, I was a, I got to talk to you guys about that because I might have had something come up that uh, might be out of time. Well, I'll find out for sure, but uh, I will uh, get in touch with you guys. We might have to pick another date for that because I had an opportunity to go somewhere and I... I can't say no to it, that's for sure. So he's Wes is going to try to bank this because he wants to, if he misses it, he wants to leave Mike a bank as well. Draw that cue ball back. And if he makes it, oh. and he didn't. But I tell you what, he got the eight ball out of there, but now Mike that's, can pretty much. That's a bank shot that uh, most players are able to make. Oh, see, uh, Mike's got to be careful here. He, he just hit this ball and stop it right there. You see, he tried to steer that one as well. You yeah, see that? His cue is moving all over the place. He's got to just commit and stroke through it. Stroke through it. Yeah, his reaction after that shot uh, shows that he knows that too. Well, I think his reaction was that he just barely missed it and he was hoping to make it. I don't think he understands that he is steering his cue, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, when you start steering things like that, you're not hitting the cue ball where you had originally intended to hit the cue ball. So Wes was trying to play a safe ball. He double kissed the four, which which made that cue ball shoot straight down the table instead of he was trying to come off the side of the four and maybe hit the long rail and hide it behind the eight, but he double kissed it, which pushed that cue ball on a different tangent line and pushed it straight down the table. This ain't an easy cut. No, these blindside cuts are not. Yeah, Mike knows he missed that pretty good. He's over there shaking his legs. Yeah, that's what he did the last time. He, <laughs> the last time he shot, that's what I was referring like, to. It's God, dang it all! All right, so Wes is attempting to cut this ball, and these outer points jump out at you at this. But I tell you what, if that cue ball was going at that angle to that side pocket, it finds the pole every single time. Yeah. For me, it does. That's oh, for me sure. too. It's horrible. It's ridiculous how bad it is. 
Well, I tell you what, I I like the effort because as far as where he was, but now Mike has a very easy save here. Right. Very easy save. He wouldn't have had a very good shot at that eight ball, really. I mean, it, no, if, if he would have made it. So I think he was more or less just hoping for the safety if he didn't. I hope Mike is, uh, he called at the bank. Oh, look at that shot. Oh, he hit it great. That was a great shot. He's got to hop to his step now. Yeah, but you know what? Here's the thing is that, that that's not a high percentage shot. And the angle he was going at, look, so let's say he missed that. Now he's leaving West, you know, a lot easier shot to get out here. Whereas if you would have just played a safe there, granted, he made the shot, which was fantastic. Matter of fact, cool. We're going to watch that shot again here by we Mike Sabota. Player break. I'm going to take one real quick with him. Okay. I'll be right back, everybody. All right. While they take a player break, I will update the score to show it's a tied match, two to two. And I'm assuming that uh, Mike Sabota uh, needed a cigarette. So, all right, we will we'll be right back. I think Mike just went out to have a quick little smoky smoke, and uh, we will be back in just a minute. All righty, we are back from our player break here. That was good timing for me. I drank too much coffee on the way here this morning. <laughs> what did, did what did Mike just have to go to the bathroom, or did he go have a cigarette? I uh, went to the bathroom, and so did I. Ah, uh, all right. So it was not a smoky smoke break. See now, here you go. Head ball break. He hit that solid. And look how these balls just kind of separate throughout the whole table. Granted, there's a couple that, but I tell you what. I like this a hell of a lot better than that side ball break and the crap you run into there. The stripes look good here. They look, yeah. He, the 12 ball may be an issue, but he could. Yeah, see, I I personally, right now, I would have taken that 15 ball and tried to run right into the 8 ball. You push out. You push up. But it's, he's oh, he's got to be careful here. going to try to either break it out or set for the 13 now. I just, see, I wouldn't. I, I Yeah, and this is this is why... Has, uh, will that 12 ball go down in the corner where he's standing? It sure looks like it will. Yeah. Hold on. Let's, he, let's he, look at the overhead here. He, give he, you a good look here at the overhead. So the 13 sure. ball, yes, it does go past there. Oh, oh. Otter Point's got him. I tell you, yeah, that, that honestly, that, that wasn't a bad. But see, now that he moved that 4 ball, I don't know if that 10 would have gone past the 4 on the side. No, it looked pretty tight. But, again... <clears throat> 10 would have gone down in the corner here, though. Yeah, the 12. Yeah, 10 would have gone down in the corner, yep. 
Now, the 12 ball definitely goes past the 8, so. Is he going to try to run in that 4 now? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, he was trying. Now, that, he came up a little cheddar. That one, he definitely came up cheddar. A lot of cheddar. Yeah, tie match here, 2-2. Two to two. Thank you all for tuning in. We are at, we are Outer Point Streaming here at Holland Beck's Q Club in Sussex Bowl in Sussex, Wisconsin. I am Brian Hallelujah Holland Beck, and joined in the booth with me is a very good friend of mine, Mr. Mike Caveman Parker. Hey, everybody. I'm glad you guys are watching with us. This is a good match. Yes, it is. <clears throat> And I just got notified, actually, when we are taking a player break here that, yeah, I didn't even, I tell you, that my days are just so, everything just kind of all crumbles together. I, I finally started using my, I had to start using my phone for all of my scheduling because it's just crazy, just my schedule. Um, but um, I have my golf outing that I, I help out with. It's uh our, our Blue Lodge, I'm a, I'm a Freemason, and uh, we have a golf outing every year to raise money for a Pay It Forward campaign, That's which nice. goes for kids, uh, Dyslexia um, Foundation. We also donate to some organizations. Wow. Did he, no, he called the four ball. Yeah, right. Yeah, I tell you what, that was uh, it was a good effort to get that out of there. but um, Left him wide open. Well, yeah, he tied up the eight a little bit though. He's—I don't yeah. know if that eight will, the eight will go in past that, or cutting it past the four, Well, not past the four, but if the cue ball goes past the four to cut the eight in. But anyway, so I have a golf on in on Monday. Or we have a shotgun start at one o'clock, and they usually those matches usually take uh, since it's a scramble format. They could take about four or five hours, usually about five hours with the groups, but. Uh, so I'm looking at it going, oh, shoot, that's right. Gary and Chip Lalk uh, have a match on Monday night, but we might have to switch it to Tuesday because I forgot to put my golf out in, in my phone. It's on a Monday. Um, so I usually there's never usually a conflict because it's a Monday. <laughs> he got himself in a little bit. Of He's just making balls. I don't, I don't see a, a huge effort yeah. there. That was a good shot, though, unless yeah, he got, got too far. Yeah, I think you can see it looking at, uh, I don't know if we can see a better angle here. Yeah, no, he's going to have to spin it, unfortunately. He yes. did hook himself a little bit here. Yeah, he did hook himself a little bit. So he's going to either have to spin it or looks like he's going to go one rail, kick it, kick at it. I don't see any reward to this. This is a low percentage shot. There's no reward to this because let's say you make it. You have no reward. I would just try to get a good hit here. Yeah, just I think e he's going to jump. Jump it or come off the other long rail and just get a good hit. Just don't give him ball in hand. This is a tough jump because yeah, I see this ball way. flying off, off the, table. the table. Yep, just like and that. And there it goes. And that's it's before 6 o'clock, so it's only a dollar a bounce. But if it gets to a roll, <laughs> it's automatically 20 bucks, and it got to a roll, so... Oh, that's he's like, like here now. Twenty five or twenty six dollars there, Michael. Yeah, unfortunately those long jumps like that, it's hard to keep them on the table. Would you take that five right now? That's no. Okay. No, I would def well, let's see, the four yeah, because the four ball goes up past the eight. Absolutely. Actually what I would do is I would take the three ball. Take the three ball, roll forward, get down by the pocket, take the five ball, roll forward for the four. Four up in the corner. Yeah, four up in the corner. Is he going to try to draw back? Yeah, well, he's changing his mind there. He's looking at your shot, I think, or he's shooting at the four. Yeah, I and I would put an angle on the four taking that shot to actually come off the long rail down to the short rail, you know, just come off and go down. Because so, you want to be as, as straight on that five as possible. But I don't like this shot because you still have two trouble balls right there. Let's say you clear out the four. Well, the f if you clear out the four, the three actually nice. might go in the pocket, in the pocket past the eight, though. I so, think it will. I think it goes by. Yeah, he might be four. okay, but but you're you're relying on mites. Might be okay. He's We're, at an angle right here. He could bump that eight ball right back in front of that three. He could absolutely. He could. 
and he's got to hit it soft enough to get the cue ball. So he's either got the three in this corner or the six in the side. Yep. And this is this is why you take you try to take out all those variables. It looks like he's shooting at three. I'm not quite sure why. I would never shoot that three. Why? What? what you're just, the four is still. The four does not go. I am not quite sure why he did that, but he has a plan. You can tell. You're looking at looking at his eyes. He's got a plan. Not quite sure what the plan is, but um, I'm assuming he's going to try to get on the six ball to get shaped to get below the four. He's going to try to draw right back into it now. I don't think he's, no. Boy, a little bit harder. He would have had the four. Yeah, I, yeah, but... I don't like. Regardless, I don't like that shot though. You that's such a small window because if you go too far, you're hooked on the eight and the six. You come up short like you did. You're, you're, that's nothing. I don't think I'd cut that four now. Or he's no, he's playing it safe. safe. Yeah. Back the to the right back to the safe game. Put the cue right behind you. I think every single game now has had a had a safe blade in it. That's a good one right there. Yeah, but this is a little easier jump, to be honest with you. That's what he's going to do, too. We are going United Flight 101, Dale. Get ready to take flight. This is a lot easier jump than the one, the first one that he had. Uh, we're missing some comments there, Slick. You're I am? Aren't we? No? Nope. Oh, my fault. I thought, uh, I, thought last, I saw. The last one I've got is from Kenny. Oh, that was the one that he was talking. About. Okay, sorry. I thought I thought that was a new one from Kenny coming through. No, that was the one about Scott Harris. Oh, you're on top of shit, Mike. Well, I try. Man, to I tell you, it's a good thing I, you know, well, now that I labeled the buttons, you can't see them because I turned the light off. So no. you're you're SOL, man. I remembered where the applause <laughs> one is. I got to figure that idiot one out every time. That's you that's right Dale. across. Oh, there you go. Right, right across from the applause. Every time you mention Dio, I'm gonna have to start. <laughs> Just kidding, Dale. Just kidding. No. No, I'm not. No, no you're not, because I'm not either, because when we say Dale, Idiot. use that button right after. Oh. All right. West takes that game down. Takes a one-game lead, three to two over Mike Sabolo. <laughs> Again, thank you all for tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming. We are at Hollenbeck's Q Club here in Sussex Bowl in Sussex, Wisconsin. Watching this. Money match between West Parish and Mike Sabota. Race to nine. So far, we got a three to two score. I'd like to see Hill Hill on this. It'd be fun. We're on the rack number six. I should get into uh, the player profile here for Mike. And Michael. Turn the light on for you so you can... Shed a little light on the subject. He's 54 years old. He's uh, from Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac. Plays with a Q Tech. He's been playing 21 years. A favorite drill is practicing cut shots. Favorite place to eat is Texas Roadhouse or the IHOP. Oh, Texas Roadhouse is so good. There's something nobody knows about you. It's blank, so nobody knows nothing about you, huh? Or doesn't know anything. Nickname, he has that, just a slash mark, so he doesn't have a nickname. We've got to come up with something for him. And his favorite place to play pool is the Sussex and the Ballroom. Nice. He got started playing pool April 24th. The div divorce was finalized. He stopped at Romines and was hooked from then on, I guess. There you go. So there we go. we got the player profiles done. Nice. Thank you, Michael. All right, so we have another sideball break special, folks. And Mike is opting to, I'm not quite sure what he's. You'd almost want to break that 13 Yeah, nine. you would. Yeah, um, you would have thought he would have broke that two out. What What was he doing there? Oh, he was trying to get on that 13. He looked like he was pointing where he would have had maybe a shot, but I don't think that 13 comes in this corner. Sure don't look like it was. I have no clue what what that was. He pointed like he was trying to get on a thirteen. And so now he opted. He the only shot he had was a combo, and that 
did Why not. Why's this guy has work work to do here? He's got to break the six out. And well, it's three. a sideball break special. You got a lot of work to do on him every single time. Junk, junk, junk. That's all I'm going to say. I'm only going to say it once. I said it three times. Didn't yes, I? you did. All right, sorry. You just say it once. <laughs> All right, here we go back, and now we're on a safety battle once again because of this lovely side ball break special. Oh, he opened up his six ball. He's kind of put the eight in a tough spot if he ever gets to it. But uh. Yeah, he opened up his six. He definitely put Mike in a, a predicament here because now that 14 ball is is uh, got to get broken out or the eight's got to get moved. He's taking that 15 down. Nice shot. He hit it good. That was a good shot. Good stroke on that one. See, now, see, this is where Mike needs a look. Slow Take down. that 10 ball, run right into that 14 ball, and get that 14 ball out of there. But he's not looking at, he's not looking he's, at. He's pocketing balls. That, that's I, it. it. That's, just, all, that's it all he's doesn't, doing. It doesn't seem like he has a, a, a plan. A plan. There's no, no, no plan right now, and you've got to have a plan. He's just convincing himself to put balls in and then work with what he's got, but uh, I think he could do better with the. A little slower play where he takes time to look at the things like you're talking about, you know? Yeah. yeah and now he's got that 14 well, out. But here's the thing is he, he pointed with his cue like, see, I got that 14 out. But you missed the ball. Right. So if you would have made that ball how you should have made it, that's not the leave you were going to get on that. That's not how you're going to kick that ball out. It would have been a different – he would have he would not have run into that eight ball so solid, okay? If he would have made that 10 ball correctly – he would not have run into that eight ball that solid. Right. So it would not have kicked the 14 ball out right in front of that pocket. So this people get confused with that, like, oh, look, see, I made my leave, but I missed a shot. Well, look at you that. missed it's the shot. If you would have made the shot, you wouldn't have gotten that leave. He opened himself up. That one will go two in the <clears> corner. <throat> yeah, but the, yeah, the, only, the only trouble ball he really has now is the eight ball eight where ball, he pushed right. it. We've got Dan Yetter on... Comments. He says, watching from up at Tommy's Roadhouse. He says, oh. definitely a top-notch stream. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I got him in my phone as that. He's Dan Asshole Yenner. <laughs> That's his nickname. He's a good guy. I like him. Yeah, he's, he's all right. Don't give him that much credit. Come on, Mike. I, he is a good guy. Slow down. Him, him and Bobby Joe are, are good people. There. Yes, they are. Yeah, he's shaking his head. He definitely did not want to be there. Dan says, I love you too, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he knows it's all in good fun. He's calling me asshole too all the time. All right, well, that was a good shot to get on that to get that one, get get himself back in a position where he needs to be. But he's got to get that eight out. That eight ball out. is got to get the right angle. Yes, sir. It'll go if he can put the cue ball in the line where the four is straight at the eight. Yeah, but it's a small window to get a good comfortable angle on that though. It's a very small window. And honestly, here's the shot. If he, looking at his overhead, if he can leave the five ball as his out ball and be exactly where he is right now, he could literally take that five in the side, come off the long rail, and come right in between the eight and 14 and get a straight-in shot on the eight ball at that spot right there where he is. I think he's going to so, take that five now, though, I think. Yeah, he's taking the five. He's, so he, his plan is five, four, and basically stop, stop shot with the four yeah, and taking right what there, he gets. Yeah. Yeah, if he can put himself right where that four ball is uh, for the eight, I think he's got an angle at it. Probably. Yeah, but, you know, he almost looked like he was looking at he wants a little angle on that four to try to draw back into the eight or towards the eight. I think he's just going to do a little stop, maybe a little more towards center of the table. i tell you what, um, he's got to be real careful with the shot. He's looking to draw it back a little, and that's Too unfortunately much. that's what happens. Yeah, I think he got himself too See, much. See, he planned on putting an giving himself an angle on that. No, well, he's calling it like he's he calling it, but I don't. I don't think he can. Say, I don't know, unless there's an angle that uh, we can't obviously. 
Yeah, see, unfortunately, he couldn't see enough of it, and he hit the ball first. Well, that's going to leave Mike a good open uh, yes. open start here for finishing this game off if he can. Going to yep, give him a great opportunity to get this match back to even, so nice now he's just got to connect the dots here. Take the 14 next. Yep, just like that. He wanted to make sure he got himself a little bit of an angle, though. Yeah, he's straight. He'll just roll him. straight down. Just roll straight down for the nine. Don't hit this too hard. Don't hit. That's perfect. It's exactly the speed. You're, you're making con full contact with that ball, so it's going to take a lot of the energy off. So you want to make sure you hit it, but you don't want to over hit it, though. All right, and that should pretty much finish it off there, if, barring no commentator curse or no mistakes here. He just wants to not, yeah, not be on the rail and be straight in, and he's fine. Here, Mike ties it up. All righty, we are back to a tie match, folks. Three to three. On to rack number seven with Michael breaking in this winter break format. Appreciate everybody tuning in again. Please like and share this video as much as you can. Also get out to YouTube and so hit that subscribe button for us. And the other thing I want you to do is get, get to your neighbor's house. Walk over to your neighbor's house. Just ask them to use their phone. Just say, I just need to use your phone for a second. Tell them they need to make a call on it because your phone's dead. And log them into YouTube and... Hit that subscribe button for us. I didn't ask. Is this a three foul rule in uh, their their match? Never in uh, eight ball. Eight, never in eight ball. It's only rotation. Okay, I wasn't sure. Shows you how much rotation I play. Now you know. Yeah, there's never play a three foul rule in uh, eight ball. Only nine and ten bowl. <clears throat> but you know what, Michael? You know what? Now you know. Now I do know. <laughs> And I will never ask that question again. <laughs> Why not? I see something on the table. On the, it almost looks like a a piece of. You see it down yes, here. Yes, I do. Right down by the twelve. The ball. twelve ball. All right. So Mike is back to his. Let's just quick bang these balls and and get on a fast pace. And this is where I say Mike plays, you know, pretty fast. He does at times, but he's got to just relax a little bit. He's got to just take his time. Well, that was a good speed. Yeah, it, it was a it was a good good stroke. Yeah, he had a spot to end up with a cue ball. This yep. Time. See, there's yeah. the there's yeah. the thing. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> That's the thing I was looking at. I saw that from my mouth. What the hell is that? So he's just got to be careful here. There he goes. And he did just fine. But the angle. He's got to get on that 13. Damn, I don't like the, the angle here, though. The angle here is going a little bit towards that eight ball. He does not run want to run into that eight ball. If he hits this center ball, he's running right into that eight ball. So he's, he's like going between high and low while he's down on the shot. You never want to do that, folks. He's... He was up in between high and low like three times while he was down there stroking on that ball. You never, ever want to do that. He's got to try to come around three rails, or is he banging? No, he's banging it. And he's... He's shooting pretty well, fast, yes. like you say. He's shooting fast. Yep. And see, you you saw how that cue ball reacted. Yep. He put low left on that, and that's why that Q or that nine ball went so high. And he's got to understand that you got just slow down, just stroke straight through that ball. He's getting so fast right now, he's not hitting the cue ball where he wants to hit it. Now, Wes said he filled in because this was supposed to be another player shooting Mike today. Is that Was that something else scheduled? Mm. Or am I wrong? I heard uh, Wes mention when I was talking to him about uh, somebody else was scheduled to play Mike and couldn't do it, so Wes jumped in. Or am I wrong about that? 
Must mm. be must be wrong about that then. Well, I it was a while back that Mike it was a while back that I think Mike might have had something scheduled, but it wasn't in the it wasn't like completely scheduled. It was okay. you know, right. a flyer hadn't been started yet. Kenny's asking, how do you send a pic to the stream where we're watching the stream? He wants to know if he can send a picture to an email address, outerpointsstreaming at gmail.com. Make sure there's two S's, outerpointsstreaming, all one word, but two S's for points in streaming, at gmail.com. Yeah, send them on over. Let us uh, put a comment out there that we sent a picture of how we're watching this match. And I'll throw it up on the screen there. Why doesn't everybody let us know where they are watching from anyway, without a picture, too? Yeah, let us know where you're tuning in from. I'll tell you what, Wes, that was great shape on that. To get on that two ball, to get that. Oh, wow. Why doesn't he take that? He's going to take the one and try to kick that 13 or 7 out of there. No, he's not going to kick it. He's going to try to just come back cross table. But why would you not just take the two right now? Take the two right now. You he got stopped, perfect shape yeah. then, too. So you could accomplish that the same With way, all the work. but had the had a better angle to get on that one ball afterwards because now you're going away from that two ball. So you got to put a good stroke on this. You got to watch out for getting behind the nine. Just like that. See, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He, he, he ended up right. okay. Yeah, ended up okay. okay. But... You know, you look at you got to look at all the patterns. You got to look at all the balls out there options. And I, I don't think either of these guys are unfortunately they're not doing that right now because he had a perfect position on that two ball. Take the two ball, take the seven in natural shape to get on that one ball. He's got to be careful he doesn't come back and get deep behind the nine. nine ball. Yep. Just like that. How about like that? That's that's what I was seeing that he might end up doing if. He didn't hit it hard enough to come too real. Yeah, and again, it goes back to the pattern. Yeah, I don't think he could have held that. Uh, I mean, it would have been a hard one. I would have planned two rails and come off that rail, or at least bump off the nine and get away from it. Yeah, you got it. You got to hit that harder to come back two rails, especially with the angle that he had there. But he's looking at a two rail. He should have never been in that position. Unfortunately, I think he's looking at two rails on the five. Yep. yep, he's calling the five. So I'm gonna get the replay ready if he. He's looking at maybe jumping. Jumping it. it. He's jump oh, with he, that full stick. No, he's just checking to see if he could actually get the jump cue on it. Yeah, I don't see him jumping with his cue that cue because he's probably plays with a medium or soft tip and you're not getting that ball off the off the deck that quick with a well and that's got an extension on it too so. yeah <laughs> yeah so it's not only a full cue it's a full full cue yeah well, he's getting a jump stick out he must feel comfortable enough that he can get this Guess so. If he gets a good contact, that cue ball should go over by the eight United ball. United Flight 101. Here we go, Dale. Idiot. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a tough shot. Being right on the rail like that, right next to the nine ball. Wow. He hit it he good. He actually hit it good. Hit it very good. Got over that nine ball very quickly. And almost made the shot. Yeah, if he would have made the shot, the cue ball would have went over towards the 6-8, which would have made it a little harder for Mike to have a shot at the 9. But Well, if he would have made it, he would have still been shooting, so it wouldn't right. have been Mike's shot anyway. Well, I, <laughs> but if he, I mean, if he would have cut on that other side, yeah. is what I was saying. Yeah. Well, Mike did not want to be there, obviously. Let's see how he does on his kick. I got a good hit, and oh, I thought he was going to go to get away with it, but unfortunately, it's still a tough shot right there. Oh yeah, thirteen ball slid out enough to give Wes a look at the at the five ball, but like you're saying, it definitely is even looking at this angle here. Being on the rail like that and cutting this ball is not an easy shot. 
that it just commit to it and stroke it. And the thing about it, even if you do make this five, you got to be careful of where you come with this on the six, which, again, you know what? Did he undercut that? I think he undercut it, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, he undercut that. So if he would have made that ball, he would have probably come close to hitting that six ball because he just missed that six ball. And Mike was trying to steer that one again. Yes. You see it? He was trying to get back down there. Yeah, but he didn't end up, uh, even if he would have made that, I, I don't like where he was going to end up. He had to hit a little softer to come down two or three rails to get on the back side of that nine for the, or the eight, to take the eight in the same corner that he. Dan uh -oh. Yenner says, uh -oh. it, if Mike would slow his game down, this match could be in his favor a lot more. Yep, I agree. He's yeah. got to learn to slow his roll. But. Unfortunately, I think that how many years has he been playing? 20, 21. I got to put my glasses on. You're going to make me read now? Oh boy. Here we go. 21 years. So, I think in all those 21 years, I don't think Mike was ever slow, to be honest with you. Dave Peters says, "Hello Brian and Cole commentator." What's Thanks. up, Dave? How you doing, Dave? Thanks for watching. Absolutely. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Make sure you're getting out there and liking and sharing the stream, please, for us. We'd certainly appreciate it. All right, so Mike went for just a hit on the 13 and missed it, so it's going to leave Wes a pretty easy two ball out here. Get back up ahead in the lead. I don't think Mike's had the lead yet, has he? He's been down one game, nope. two games to start with. Yep. The closest he's got was tied 0-0 zero, zero and 3-3. Three, three. He can get up there to get tied, but he's going to have to do a little more net to get to the finals here, get to the get to the end as the winner. Oh, oh boy. Well. Is that a commentator curse by us? Did we do that? No. That, no. Where's the we in that? <laughs> Keep the we out of that shit, would you? Because that everything. was you, all you, man, all you. <laughs> <laughs> Tough shit. You're taking the blame for it. So Kenny says, I <laughs> sent it again. Great job on the stream, Brian Hombeck. I oh. appreciate what you do for the pool association. Thanks, Kenny. I appreciate it. All right. I will, once I don't commentate curse like Michael does over there, I'll let Wes make that before I say, okay, up four to three. And I'm going to run on over to our Gmail page here. And we are going to pull that picture up and see what we got in store for us. This will be good. Dan Yenner is calling out Kenny. He says, let's match up sometime, Kenny. Oh, boy. There's a match right there for you. Let's see if he still goes from that side break, second ball break. It hasn't been working too good for him. Is he going to switch it up? I'm the he's, over. There he goes. Oh, he's switching it up. There we go. Maybe he's been listening to us. All right. Let's see what we got here from Kenny. Oh, okay. That's, let's look at the next picture. All right. Which one do you like better? The this, second one. This one? That right. one there. All right. We're going to download that one from Kenny Kolonowski. There's a better break for him. I don't know. He doesn't have a good starting chip. Well, maybe the 14 in the side or something there. Yeah. Well, guess what? It's a lot better than what he had with the other stuff. So. Yeah. The other brick wasn't working for him. So, and he figured that on. All righty. We have a picture from Kenny. I'll pull pull that up here. And we're going to... He's just going to try to play safe. 
really doesn't have a good start shot. Pull the cue ball back behind him, yep. I think he might have left him a shot though. He didn't want to go that far. Got the three ball. Yeah, he's looking at that two ball. That's no, he's looking at the 13 ball. I thought he was looking at what he could do to get on the two. Oh. Tell you what, that was that was a good shot to take to to kind of clear things out. All right, let's take a quick look at how Kenny and Miss Fields is watching the house. Laura and Kenny are watching. How big is that TV, Kenny? Nice little setup you got there. Appreciate you sending that over to us here. So we can take a look in your house and see what's, what good items you have for us to come take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kenny, go over to your neighbor's house and grab all their phones and subscribe to YouTube for us, would you? Appreciate it. I got to figure out how to get my password back so I can go back on it. I don't know why it did it to me. I was able to watch YouTube and comment and share and everything before. but Just create a, just create a new one. I don't even know how to do that. I have to have my son James do it for me. <laughs> well, we can do that right here while you're here. As soon as this match is, this is, this match is done, we'll create yeah, one for you. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got hacked or somebody... Uh, Called old age didn't, man. Didn't like a comment that I made or something. <laughs> <laughs> something locking this guy out. Me make a wrong comment or a bad comment. That'll happen. That's why you fit right in here. Mediocre commentary. Well, at least you bring some. At least you bring it up to the mediocre. Because if you weren't here, it'd be crappy, horrible. Somebody else would have jumped in. No, but I'm saying, though, that with you being here, it brings the standard up to medium. Okay, well, mediocre. I appreciate that. Because if it was just me in the booth here talking to myself, it'd be just junk, just crap. Horrible. We got Dawn Peters. She says, hi, everybody from Dawn. Dawn Peters. Dawn and Dave. They will, I think they said they're coming out tonight. Coming out tonight to watch the... Charlie Wolf and Bill Larson match. That was a good shot by Wes. Just to miss that 15 ball, give it a little inside spin to miss that five ball. That that was well played. That was a good shot. What does he want to do? Go forward and come two rails for the three or the one? Try to get himself on that two to the side? He's got the perfect angle. Just put a lot of top on this to come two rails to back off to, out to the center of the table for the yeah, three ball. That's that's what I was thinking. Or if he gets if he gets down far enough, he could then take the he just like that. And see if he would hit that little harder, he would have been yeah. right in the center of the table and worked out. But he actually has, I think he's he's got the one ball. Yeah, it looks like he can see that one ball. And the one ball might give him the perfect opportunity to either run right into the eight ball or run into that cluster just to kind of separate him to give himself a little better shot on. Uh, Usually I don't advocate to, to move balls around, but when you're down to your last few balls and you don't have a great angle to get to the other side of that two ball. So he's looking at, is that four ball? You're probably looking, that four ball goes past the 12. It does, but you got to be real accurate through past that, getting past that eight ball. Yeah. So you either try to get on That's that. That's a small window to be there. Or you just, it's natural Stop. shape. It's Maybe natural it's shape. What is this? Is he cutting that three ball? Or? No, he's taking the one. Ew. So he overcut that. And that's why he ran in the two ball. If he would have made that ball, center ball, he would have ran right in the eight ball, cleared the eight ball out of there, and had a shot at the two. And opened the four and, up and opened it up. Yep. So now Mike, all Mike has to do here is the only trouble ball he really has is the eight ball. But he might save that twelve ball for his out ball. He used all that pocket. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to leave himself right there. I think he went. Uh, I think that was a four rail shot. 
No, he definitely didn't want to be on. He's he's fine, but he didn't. He'd rather not be on the rail, but he's fine. Yeah. Now he's got to come back through. <clears throat> well, he's yeah, he's either... If he puts straight draw on this, he should come back up right towards the three ball. Or push over to it. Yeah. But that's the problem. If you don't run, he didn't run right into the two ball to stop him right there. And I don't, I don't like, I don't like that shot. Anyway, you just want to draw straight back to come right back up towards that three ball. He's kicking it to the corner. Yeah, he, just, he kind of thought it was maybe a big pocket, but there's, there's a lot of balls there to come off. And well, that four ball won't go by the twelve. I don't think. Oh, well, maybe it will. Uh, no, I don't think it. I don't think it will. Was even looking at it from this angle here, it's, I don't think that four ball is going past the twelve. I could be wrong. We could be wrong, but Kenny says uh, would love to play you sometime, Dan Yenner. Give me a shout. Um, a month. Pete Hurd is going to be working with me on the pattern play and shot selection. I will set something up with you, Dan. I lost my two matches I played because of my pattern play sucks, but Pete will help me with my game. Okay. All right. So again, no position here, so we're back to a safe safety game. Again, I think I you know I haven't been keeping track, but I think every single game there's been, been a safe, safe blade. Yeah. He's trying to come two rows behind it. Eh? No, he's got to go one I think he's, it. Yeah, if he, he can't come two rails because you got to hit that so hard to get that 12 back to a rail. Right. But he's got to go one rail. One rail, just run into it nice and easy like that. That's what, yep. I, that's what it looked like he was aiming at is that, that um, shot right there. I, I think what he was looking at was. Where the cue ball would end well, up after he hit I, it? No, I think what he was looking at was coming off the rail and barely hitting the 12 before it hit the rail. You know what I mean? So and I think he was... the cue would have ended up is yeah. where he's pointing at. Yeah. I thought he was pointing at where the point he wanted to hit with the cue ball. I was like, no, that coming up behind it isn't going to do you any good. No, he was looking at where he wanted to leave it. And he, I tell you what, that was very close. Very, very... Holy jeez. Very close I to... I didn't like the angle looking. he set that up at. He came out of it all right. Yeah, it was very close to being a phenomenal shot by Mike. Because if he would have just barely hit that 12 ball, he would have stuck him really? behind that ball. And for West, for you missing ball in hand. Well, we got Dan Yenner uh, says your game has come a long way. He's talking to, uh, to Kenny. Would be a fun and good matchup. Let me know. Shoot me a text. All right. Well, I I'm going to tell you right now, it's in Wes's head right now. That miss on that, that uh, ball in hand. It's in his head. He's got to, at this point right now, clear his head, step back and say, okay, you know what, let's get back to let's get back to where I was. We got VP Schroeder. Dan Yenner Vince is a Schrader. money making machine. What's up, Vince? Kenny says we're watching on a 75 inch Samsung, Brian. Nice. All right, so West came over a little too far. He didn't want to come over that far, but he's got the three ball still. All right, it's not that difficult. Not quite sure what he was sitting there thinking about. I mean, it's the only shot he's got. And that's perfect. I mean, I'm not quite sure why he was standing up there kind of just yeah. looking at it for that long because it's, it's the only shot you got. Just commit to it and go. And that's where a lot of these, these lower-rated players, they get themselves in trouble because they overthink things too much. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, hey, it's the only shot you have. Just commit to it and just go. That was a nice uh, nice drawback right there for him. Got himself perfect. Yep, perfect absolutely position. perfect position for this eight ball. Oh, 
Now for the second time in this there match, it is. Wes is up two games. Five to three, folks. On a race to nine, we are on game number nine. We're racing to nine, but we're on game number nine. Once again, we want to thank everyone for tuning in this fine morning. I know it's a beautiful day out there today, and appreciate you logging in and checking out our stream here. We are Outer Point Streaming. I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, and in the booth with me, I have a very good friend of mine, Mr. Michael Caveman Parker. Hey, everybody. Again, thanks for watching and tuning in. Share it and like and share for us. Go on YouTube, do the same. Like Brian says, go get your neighbor's phone or your kid's phones or get them your all. wife's phone. Get, get them the all. Okay, this, this is the time or of year. Phone. This is a time of year where you have neighborhood parties, there right? There you go. Is sure. it not? Yes, it okay, is. Okay, so yes, it is. here's, my, here's my, my task for all you fine folks out there. Okay, your neighborhood parties. You're going to have one. I know you're going to have one. We all have them. When you have a neighborhood party, you get everybody to line up in a line. You say, we're playing this cool little game, okay? You have everybody line up in a line, and you have them put their phone out in front of them. Tell them, log into, log into YouTube. And we're going to see how many people can actually come up with the most subscribers. That would if, be a good challenge. If there. you can go out there... And write down the names of all the people you get to subscribe, okay? And you send me that list, and I verify them. After one month here, after a month, whoever gets the most subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to send you a nice hoodie as soon as I get them. Wow. Get them what out. A deal. That's a deal. Oh. Jumping up. Yes, he's getting quick. Again, he's back to the let's pocket some balls and see where I go from here. Yeah, he's uh, throwing his plan at he. I won a couple of games with. Yep. So that's the you know I just kind of I just kind of thought about that in my head. So we're gonna do that. I'm a, I'm gonna post that out there. So what I want you to do is at your neighborhood party or just what parties whatever whoever doesn't matter. Go out there and write down everybody that you get to subscribe. Just put it in a like a, a note in your phone. And at the and and, and you can send send them to. Send the list to OuterPointStreaming at gmail dot com, or send them to me personally. If you're friend, if you're a friend with me on Facebook, send them on Messenger and say I got this person, this person. But I have to know what their their username is on YouTube, because you could tell me their name, but their name, like let's just take for example Chip Lulk. You know, he was in here before he commented, so his username is Chip three one two or three two one yeah, or something like that. A couple of numbers there. So you got to know the username of the individual. So if you give me the username of the individual and whoever has the most subscribers to the channel in the next month, what's the date today? So today is the 10th? Today is July 9th. 9th. So we're going to go to August August 9th. So whoever has the most subscribers, subscribe to the channel by August 9th. I'm going to send them a hoodie of their color choice. Well, I'm going to have to work on that one myself, too. There. Uh, yes, you I, are, am sir. Am I eligible for it? Yes, you are. Right. Everybody except for little, little, chatter. L little chatter. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Mike is on top of it now. That was a perfect timing. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at this. Wes is definitely getting the rolls today. Is uh, he missed that ball and he stuck Mike in a position that is just uh, trash, absolute trash. But here again, Mike shouldn't be in this position. Regardless, he shouldn't have made those shots that he made to get himself in scratch in this position. So, unfortunately, you can you can blame the the rolls and blame everything else. But if you wouldn't have got this in this position before. Then you wouldn't be. You're now. You're now, exactly. What does he got? You can see that nine ball. and just get a safety off the nine, maybe. <sighs> That's a damn good question, dude. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he looked like he was trying to play himself safe down there, but it didn't work out too good. Yeah. No, unfortunately, he left that... Uh, 
at six ball. That was a good stroke. That was. You hit that one real well. Are they right outside the door? <laughs> Oh, I didn't mention, uh, Kenny did say, uh, sounds good, Dan Yenner. So, uh, sounds like they're going to try to set up a match in a later time period here after Kenny yeah. gets a little. You know, Mr. Coaching. Nick Karachi in the house, screaming at the top of his, he's a, he's a loud guy. But <laughs> They're standing right outside the back of the door here, and he's talking with Michelle, and it's like, like you can hear him play his day. Like, uh, yeah. settle down there, Slick. <laughs> he's like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> He's just he's just a naturally loud, loud guy. Great, great guy, Nick Karachi. <clears throat> is he got a match today at all, or is he just? No, I think he's just up here, just uh, seeing shooting. seeing what the action is. But he should definitely be coming up later for some action because I heard there's a few people coming up to watch the Bill Larson Charlie Wolf match. But I'm a, I actually am a, jump out for a second here and hit the little little boys room so i'll be right back i will try to keep things under control here um, don't use that idiot button too much one is for mike no over here this is one one and three on this keyboard one and three one, and three. Actually, one is for mike or i don't even have to do it do i they're Actually, before I go out there, I'm going to actually turn this on. I'm going to show you I got this neat little uh, got this tablet that I can actually pull up the. Uh, I'm just going to take that combination. Should be okay. He's got to get down here on this eight ball when he does get finished with them but I don't know what he's he's not happy with that leaf he's either shooting too soft or too hard he's going to try to safety him sure I think he might take his jump stick out at this one unless he thinks he can kick off the rail of the five try to leave the cue ball down here by the three Not sure what he's looking at here. I think he's going to kick All right, at it. Mike, so this is on this tablet. You see player one. Yep. So player one is Mike and player two. Okay, so you can just hit this plus one and it'll put his score up. Okay. One. If you actually hit the wrong one, you can hit the minus one and it'll okay. change it on the. So you can use that All tablet. Right. So I'll be right back. I got it. see what Mike comes up with here. I don't like this. Uh, he's changing his plan. You gotta be careful not to draw back too much. Yeah. I think I would take that 13 and just come around two rails. Well, there you go. Maybe that's all right right there. You still gotta work at getting down there the eight ball if he gets the right angle he's sure one rail down very nice well that's uh very close to that one ball Got to be careful and just slide that by. Oh, he hit the one with it, but he still got through. Mike's back on the board, uh, one game down. 
Four to five. Wes is ahead. Race to nine. We're playing our tenth game here. Let's see what Mike does with his break. He was hitting straight on before. If I remember right, I don't think Mike's breaks have been working really well for him. Let's see what he comes up with here. Mike's got to get himself on a roll if he wants to stay consistently uh, close to Wes. He's got a good break that time. Boy, those stripes look pretty good. Those stripes look pretty good. It'd be a good confidence builder for Mike if he gets this game out. Not too many problem balls. He's just got to work himself without tying up anything up. Kenny says, nice out, Mike. You got this? Yeah, he's moving balls around that he doesn't want to be moving. What is Wes thinking here? Maybe cut that one down in the corner? Get the one out of his way? Cut the three in the side and try to get down here and break the... Well, he can actually make the six if he shoots this real soft. Just barely roll it to the pocket. and He should be able to have the shot at the six in the corner. A little too hard. Well, he went to break it. Rearranged him and scratched. That didn't work out to his plan. Brings Mike back up to the table. Nice. He's, he's, he's trying to shoot fast and poke at him a little too hard. It's not working out too well for him. That was ball in hand. I walked in here and it's hot in here. You you full of a lot of hot yeah, air, aren't you? Well, I was trying to talk a lot. That's what happens when well, I talk. You definitely did because it's got hot in here. <laughs> Don Peters says, Brian, I got you that family fun pack for your golf outing for my daughter's poultry shop. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, Don. You are awesome. Don and Dave are such awesome people. What did you do here? I change the score is all I did is touch it once and change the score. Oh. The score is correct. Four to five. Four to five. That's okay. Sorry. All I did what you showed me. I got a little uh, yeah, it might have hit uh, might have hit something else above it because uh, going off the screen. No big deal. But I got hung up a little bit there on the way out to the little potty room. Nick Karachi was, is in the house and he was explaining to me that uh, his little story that was pretty, uh, pretty funny. So I thought I'd share it with, uh, share it with our viewers here. Let's hear it. Nick was in here about three weeks ago. Oh, yeah, Mike, Mike that's a second, yeah, second shot in a row that he's not focusing good enough. He's getting, he's coming up out of his shot pretty, pretty, pretty fast, quick. Yeah. So anyway, Mike, uh, Nick Karachi was in here playing pool. I forgot who he said. I think he said Kevin's. Kevin Stanell, maybe? They were in here playing. Oh, that was a great shot to yeah, get in between was. those. And uh, so Nick went up and got some balls. And what you do is you give him your ID, so your driver's license, to get the balls. And then when you return the balls, they give you your ID back. So he was in here three weeks ago, 
He gets the ball as they play. He takes the balls back up there, and it was a, a younger kid at the counter. He gave the balls. The guy takes his money and then gives gives them his ID, and he leaves. Right. So apparently he got pulled over last night. He didn't tell me what he did wrong, but maybe speeding or whatever. He gets pulled over, <clears throat> and he gives the guy his ID, and he asks to see both his him and his wife's ID. So they both take their IDs out of their pockets and other wallets and they give it to the police officer and the police officer says are you guys married he's like yeah he's like uh, do you guys live at the same address uh yeah yeah we do so he takes their ids and goes back to the car and nick says to his wife i wonder why he was asking that so he comes back after he gets his you know runs his checks or whatever and Hands him, hands him the IDs, and so Nick gives his wife her ID, and he looks at the ID that the cop gave, and he's like, uh, can, I have, can I have my ID? <laughs> I thought the, that's where this the is police, going. The police, the officer says, uh, that is your ID. He's like, no, this is not my ID. Can I have my ID? He's like, what are you talking about? That's the ID you gave me. He's like, oh, well, this is not me. <laughs> he didn't realize that he was given the wrong ID. <laughs> he gave the, the wrong ID because the guy, the kid at the counter, gave him the wrong ID yeah. back. <laughs> so, and the, so the cop was, he was fairly. He's like, "Well, are you giving me false identification?" He's like, "No." He's oh. like, I, I, "That's the ID that came out of my pocket." He's like, "But I, I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on here." And then he kind of figured out. He's like, "Okay, well, I go to pool halls and." You know, I have to give my ID for the ball, so I, maybe they gave me the wrong ID. So the officer's like, "Well, you're, you're, I guess you're kind of glad this this guy did not have a warrant out for his arrest, right? Because he'd have been." <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, that's true." He's like, "What would have happened?" He's like, "Well, obviously we would have probably dug into it and figured out it wasn't you, but it would have been a lot more time here sitting time on the side of the road, and yeah, and you in handcuffs for a little bit until we figured out what was going on." Or even take him back to get him fingerprinted. Yeah, to make sure who to he figure, is. Yeah, <laughs> and then Nick looks at the guy. He's like. Well, why did you think, I mean, didn't you question this? And the the cop is like, well, it kind of looks like he's like, no. This ID says the guy has green eyes. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, like maybe facial hair maybe kind of looks, but I, I look nothing like this guy. <laughs> so what that was a crazy pretty story. funny. We got Dawn Peters. She's asking, are you going to be here later tonight? Yes, ma'am. We have a match. Drop it off for you. We have a match at 6 o'clock tonight. Bill Larson and Charlie Wolf are going head to head for a cool $1,000 Monopoly money in the middle. That'll be, that'll be a good one. There'll be a few people up here watching that one. So if anybody wants to come on up and hang out and watch, I'm sure there'll be a few people up here tonight. It's going to be a good match. I'm going to have to watch it on YouTube if you can get me hooked up on it again. We'll get you hooked up. My wife said if I come this morning to commentate, I can't stay and watch Billy's game. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked out good for her anyway because she's working this morning. So I've been gone all week. She's been home and I was up north. So we didn't get much time to spend together. So she Yeah. She liked the idea of me coming this morning instead of tonight because then I can be with her tonight. So, so Kenny asked me, how do you comment on the stream? But he must have figured it out. Yeah, because you already posted his picture. <clears throat> oh, look at this, Wes. Well, I think I don't know if Kenny, if you're talking about on YouTube, if you're how do you comment? You have to be logged into your account, uh, your account, to be able to comment on YouTube. So. If you cannot comment on YouTube, that means you don't have an account or you're not logged into the account. So if you want, all you have to do is basically go out there and create a Gmail address. You can create a Gmail address, and once you create that, oh, look at this. Did yeah, you get what, lucky? What's going on with oh, this? Oh, I, uh, I thought he might have got lucky. I thought that 14 ball might have come in play and blocked that pocket, but it doesn't look like it. So all you have to do is create an email address, a uh, Gmail email address, and uh, once you create that email address, literally you just log into it and you go right to YouTube and you are logged in. Bill Larson is saying it's only 500 in the middle. Is he talking about his match tonight? Yeah, but it's 1,000 total. 
five hundred per. Is it five hundred per player? I thought wasn't no, it? No, he says it's only five hundred in the middle. What you cheap you cheap asses are only doing five hundred in the middle? I could have swore you were doing a thousand. I think it's five hundred per player. I'm pretty. Oh, I swear. You cheap asses. So we got Wes up at uh, six here. Mike at four, race to nine. This is getting close. Wes has been able to maintain the lead the whole match so oh, far. Oh, it is what? 500 in the middle and you're racing a 13 ball or 13? You cheap. I, if, you know what? You're lucky I was putting that flyer together fairly quickly because for $500, you guys should be like going like seven or nine. Get some gonads, man. Get Bill some, some grief. A race to thirteen for five hundred dollars. Oh, Bill, Bill, Bill. You got a player break here, so another one. Yeah, Mike had to go. Uh, I think he's going back to the bathroom. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Well. So. I'm going to jump out with them then again because I've got to go also. All right. So I guess they're going to go help each other at the bathroom yeah, again. Yeah, do you guys do, do you like hold it for each other or? <laughs> oh, you hold hands. Oh, I thought you were holding something else. Anyway, I am here in the booth by myself. This is Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck. And I, I just want to put this out there, everybody, that... Um, I just want to say it again that I, I appreciate everybody watching the stream. I, I can't tell you how happy I am to do this. Um, it is so much fun. And it's amazing how doing something and having it fun just makes just makes your life so much nicer. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Trust me. You have no idea. You have no idea how much work this actually is. Um it is a tough, but I, I, again, I'm not saying that to get sympathy from anybody. Trust me, I, I chose to do this. I chose to take this on and do this. And the reason I say that is because I have so much fun at it. And I know Dale does as well. Unfortunately, because he lives in Appleton, it's, it's tough for him to get down here a lot for this. And I totally understand that, but I know he loves it just as much as I do. And we enjoy actually being in the booth at the same time and giving you guys some colorful commentary. That's what we're all about. That's what we wanted to to be about is not be your average every day. Okay, he's taking this ball now. Okay, hopefully he gets good on the five ball so he can make sure he get back for the four ball. And let's see what he does at this point here, you know. Ah, uh, that's so boring. Sorry, that's boring as all hell. Not that it's not that it's it's not good commentary, um, but we basically wanted to have almost like a comedy show with some pool involved, because making people laugh brightens everybody's day up. <clears throat> it gives everybody a sense of wanting to live. <laughs> Because I tell you what, laughter, laughter brings out the best in people. It, it it helps you relax. It takes it takes so many years off your life to be angry all the time. Now, granted, I'm not saying I don't ever get angry, but nowadays, I actually have been fortunate to learn that life is too short to be angry and just have fun at life. And I've always been a jokester my whole life. But yeah, do I get mad? But when I was younger, oh, man, I got mad. I had a temper. I'll be the first to admit it. But I'm happy to say that, obviously, as I grew up in my years, that uh, that temper has, has gone away. Not saying I don't ever not get mad, but temper has definitely gone down, which is awesome because stress-wise, I feel so much better. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there and say thank you all to everybody for tuning in and watching. And... Uh, Hopefully you enjoy the, the stream. And again, my contest out there is whoever brings me the most subscribers onto the channel in the next month is going to get a cool hoodie from Outer Point Streaming. I'm going to be working on that one myself. 
Oh, wait, hold on a second. I didn't unmute you yet. Now, now uh, say what you're going to say. I'm going to be working on that myself. I sure would like to have one of them. Just make sure you are able to get the username name, yeah. of the YouTube subscriber so I could verify it. Appreciate it. Bill Larson is saying, bite me. Yeah, you bite me, you with, cheap, with, with some cheap ass. letters after that that I want. And then he all, or Scott Haskin says, only scrubs race to 13 for 500. Exactly, yeah. exactly, Scott. You are the man. You are the man. That is so true. I really, I, I must have been putting that flyer together so quickly. I think, I think when I put your flyer together, I was doing like three others. So you are so lucky I didn't really catch on to that because I could have swore you guys were going for a thought. And that's why afterwards I just automatically thought it was for $1,000. And, uh, yeah, you're so lucky I didn't catch that before because I would have said, uh, yeah, no, cheap ass. Okay, well, he's got a couple of balls to work out. Or yeah. At least get that 12 out of that. He played a great safe on Mike, but the problem is is that when Mike went for that hit, he jacked up that that uh, can, 12 he, ball down there. He can get the 12 ball out now, but he's got to <clears> be careful he doesn't kick that 8 in while he's yeah, doing it. I, I am not going for that 12 ball right now at this angle. There is no way in hell you go for this 12 ball right now. Because if you do, you, you are making that 8 ball. You, there's no way you're hitting that hard enough to break that out at this point. you got to go from the opposite way. And that's why I thought he was leaving that 14 ball for that. But now he's on the rail, so he's yeah, not he's getting at it now. He can't get a draw out of this. No. <clears throat> no, he is not getting at it now. He's just going to play safe. Uh, and yeah, he and he did not. And he even moved the 12 he, a he little left, bit out of the way. He left him a shot. And uh, he did He did hit a rail, so it was a good, sh a, a good hit, but... He left a wide open shot for Mike. So all Mike has to do is come back to this side of the table. He would have liked to be a little further than that. Now I don't know if they're gonna maybe want me to watch this shot. I'm assuming they are. Maybe. Maybe not. Scott Haskin says me and Kenny did the same race. Are you agreeing that we are scrubs? Okay, hold on a second. I gotta go out and watch this shot, so I will be back. And Vince says, how, Vince Schroeder, I think his name is, right? VP? How does one set up a challenge match on your stream? I think he just sent Brian a personal message. Says, just post a request publicly on your grudge match Facebook group. Uh, that's a question Brian will have to answer, but he's out there right now. I will ask him to read your comment. Bill, keep it up. It might reflect your tip later. Oh, Brian. Here he comes back, Bill. I'll let him know what you're saying. Got a couple of comments up there that I shared that you need to read, Brian. I read them out loud to the people watching well yeah i did want to touch on the whole scott haskins comment and yes scott the reason the reason why i have adjusted <laughs> actually some of the races is due to your match <laughs> uh that was a race to 13 that took eight hours i think it was eight hours so that is kind of the reason why um i i'm sorry I love to do this, but I don't like sitting on my skinny ass for eight hours for one match. So even though your match was enjoyable, we had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, sorry, dude. Um, for $500, there is nobody that's racing to an amount that's going to take eight hours for $500. So you, obviously, your match kind of set the tone for... <laughs> why i have come to the choices that i've come to at the stream so scott says it was five hours and 50 minutes so just about six hours is how long their match must oh, have well taken. it was it, it felt like 12. 
And I don't think Bill or Charlie are fast shooters either. I think they both uh, are very, very uh, uh, good shooters that take their time on every shot. I know Bill does. Bill well, does. I don't think they're they're definitely not speed shooters, but at the same time, they're not they're not slow shooters either. Though they're not, you know, they're they're not ones that look over a shot for, you know, two minutes each each shot. So. <clears throat> Vince Schroeder's asking me how I like my new cabin. I think it is awesome. The fishing is great. You haven't seen all of his pictures? <laughs> I think every time he's up there, he's posting it. It's awesome to see because... Some big fish man. that I've been catching out there. All right, here we go with a safety. Oh, again. Going to have to jump at this? That looks like it, possibly. I don't know if I'm sharing some of these comments twice or not, but I'm trying to make yeah, sure whatever. I get them all. It's all good, even if you share them twice. We don't mind. So I do want to thank you, Scotty Haskins. I, I want to thank you and Kenny for kind of setting, setting the tone for for races and you, you helped me learn a lot <laughs> about what the price should be anyway. about the what the price and race should be <laughs> yeah bill was saying it's going to affect your your tip if you keep it up i don't know if you've seen that comment from bill what's that bill says keep it up it might reflect on your tip later <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, he's got to be careful with his words because I'm not quite sure what he's talking about. Is it keep it up? Something, says, something about just the tip. Bill says slow shooting will <laughs> not be happening on my end. <laughs> see, see, that was that was your comment, Mike. So yes, now you got. See so, you now, Bill, that was Mike that said that. So <laughs> he knows. <laughs> But I was just trying to say they're they're both deliberate shooters. They they don't just get up there. And All rush, right, rush here he is. Thing. Now he's trying to cover his tracks. I'm trying to. I like Bill too much. I don't want him mad at me. He won't let me come over and shoot bull with him anymore at his bar. Billy's trying to cover, man. He's trying to backpedal now. You heard it. Go back and listen. He said you were a slow ass shooter. Well, it's not quite how I said it. That's what I heard. I think Bill knew All day. I mean. All I, day I heard that. I think Bill knew what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, I, I know he knows what you meant. I mess with be Bill. a good match. I, I can, mess with I Bill all the time. I can't wait to watch that. Yeah, it will be. Bill, uh, Bill uh, it was me, Bill... Doug Epker and Scott Kugel that won ACS. I see. I remember seeing a years. picture of that. Last yes. year or two years ago. Yeah. We got Melissa Rodriguez saying, hi, guys. Let's What's go. What's up, Melissa? Melissa in the house. She was just here at the Friday night last night. Her and McCain Peters. So Again, all you fine folks. Oh, oh, oh he's boy, not going to be happy with that one. Not at all. I don't know if he was trying to move the 13 out of the way. Or I, I no, don't. I don't think he was trying to hit. I don't think he was trying to run the 13, that's for sure. Um, for all you fine folks out there that are listening, just tuning in, I am Brian. Hallelujah. How I'm back and in the booth with me is a very good friend of mine, Mr. Mike Caveman Parker. You're in person. Uh, and I have just announced a new contest I am having, which I'll be announcing through all of our streams over the next couple of days here. Our new contest is whoever gets me the most or us the most subscribers on YouTube <clears throat> over the next month is going to get an awesome Otter Points hoodie from me. Um, when you when you talk to somebody and they sign up, just get their username that they signed that they used for their YouTube account and send it over to me. Uh, if you want to keep track of them for a little while and send them all to me at once, that'd be great. That way I can verify them. Then I can go on and verify them 
Oh, that eight ball was close to rocketing right yes, now. Well, it was. Oh, I tell you, if, if Wes, that 12 ball lined up, but if that 12 ball didn't line up, then Wes almost got away with, with one. But the 12 ball did line up. It does go in the side. All, all Mike has to do is just try to draw out of this or run right in the two. But you want to run too hard into the two because then you're going to push it towards the eight and you might not get clearance. You got Bill Larson. He says, I'll deal with you later, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is where I was talking about. I think he got the window, but he had to be careful about that two ball running right towards that 11 and 9, but I think he's clear. Yep, he is. Got Good a shot. Nice, nice hit there. Going back to your sweatshirts, are those available for anybody to buy now? Or just they, out, outright buy? They will be, yes, but I'm actually, as I had stated a couple times, um, the sweatshirt that I got, they used the sublim. Uh -oh, uh, -oh, uh, -oh. Uh, oh, oh, he's fine. They used what's called this. Oh, no, he's not fine. No, he's, he's over not. a ball. He's shooting <laughs> over a ball and not a good angle. No. There's only a few colors that work with the sublimation process with the, with the Outer Points logo. Because it bleeds through. So what I asked them to do was I asked them to give me some artwork on. And they have the artwork already, but they, they're going to turn it. Oh, oh yeah, Ouch. that's the problem. Ouch. Yeah, he's not happy with that one at no. all. They're going to actually, instead of sublimation on the jerseys, or the jerseys are going to be sublimation because the, the whole process is dyed in. But for the T-shirts and the sweatshirts, we're going to go to the silk screening process because then the Outer Points logo will stay true color. With the sublimation, what happens is... Oh, oh look at this. Oh, he got lucky with that. He's got Wes, to go airborne Wes here. you missed ball in hand again. We have Kenny's asking... He wants to challenge Brian Hollenbeck. Who's that guy? A race to 13 for 500 in the middle. <laughs> I think he's trying to make a joke. <laughs> Come on, Kenny. Let's do it, but we're not streaming it. <laughs> and then Melissa asked, did you explain how to set up a match? Somebody did ask that. I think you might have been out of the booth when I uh, said I was going to remind you about that. But I, I did. I'll go over that here in just a minute. Let's and Mr. Jeff Pott says, hi, guys. Hey, Jeff. What's how you up, doing? Jeff? How are you, man? Thanks for tuning in. Bill says he wants a jersey. Bill Larson wants oh, a look at jersey. This. They both got rolls on this one. That's for sure. Awesome, Bill. Well, uh, the jerseys are really cool. And I'm actually having a couple new designs made up, too. But the, the one that I initially um, had designed up that they had in that was already an actual sort of design. Um, <clears throat> it's the red, white, and blue one. The flag, it's actually it's pretty cool. But anyway, as far as... <clears throat> setting up a match i had initially for the kickoff i had initially announced the grudge matches now unfortunately well i shouldn't say unfortunately because it's it's been fun and it's been good but i have had so many people that have just wanted money matches streamed that i haven't really been able to start oh, the actual I it completely yeah start the actual grudge matches because a challenge match is different from a grudge match in, in the way of the grudge matches are going to be if someone is sitting in that seat and they can be called out and challenged. And if you hold that seat for four weeks, I'm going to have some really cool challenge coins that are going to be given to people if they hold that seat for four weeks. But you don't have to, you don't have to come back every single week. So, like, if someone wins, if you don't want to come back, you don't have to come back. That's your choice. I'm not, I'm not mandating you have to come back. To me, that's to me, that's like just telling people, "Well, I'm going to control your schedule. You, know, you have to come back if you want to hold that." No, you don't have to come back if you don't want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. But you lose out on your but four. You, yeah, you lose out on your four weeks. That's that's it. Now, if you get to that four weeks and you want to continue on, you can continue on. You get the the nice challenge coin, and then on top of it. You can keep winning some money, so but it's your choice if you want to or not. It's not going to be a mandatory. You have to come back. And the grudge matches are going to be not only just singles. It's going to be teams. So if you want a scotch match against another scotch match, so what's going to happen is so obviously like our opening stream was the three-player kickoff. So Jeff Potts, Kurt Elliott, and Chris Bondi 
are actually going to, they're holding that seat for teams in the hot match. Okay, so I'm going to put them in as they're holding that seat. Any other three players at, in, in the, U, the U.S. want to challenge them, they can come and challenge them for that hot seat. Does the money always stay the same, or can the money change? According the money to the you can do as much as you want, but there's going to be minimums on uh, the spice and the mild is going to be $100 minimum. Now, see, he went back to the sideball break, yeah, and look did. what happens. Yeah. Junk, junk, junk. Wes, learn from your mistakes. <laughs> Bill's, Junk, Bill's horrible. Bill's asking or saying that that would be the one he wants. He's talking about that uh, jersey. The jersey. Okay, cool. Well, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk tonight because I can actually, since that one is actually all kind of queued up in the in there, um, I can uh, I can actually get that one ordered for you fairly quickly. So we'll talk tonight, Bill. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, he made it. Yeah. So. Oh, where was I? I don't know where the hell I was. Yeah, but anyway, so that that's how the grudge matches are going to work. Um, and unfor I keep saying unfortunately because it's not unfortunately. But I'd like to get the grudge matches going <clears throat> sooner than later. But I've had so many money matches that have been wanting to get streamed that I don't want to turn anyone away because this is only helping pool. This is only helping the pool community. And to me, that's what it's about is helping <clears throat> helping the pool community grow. Um, and I also want to... Spam. Oh, man, we got another spammer. Gosh, dang it. Hold yeah. on. I got to get to my YouTube quick before we get yeah, he's, crashed out. He's going crazy. Oh, man. We don't need that kind of garbage on here. Let me get, I got to log in real quick. Actually, let me get on my phone and block him. As long as I don't share it, nobody else sees it, right? Yeah. No, well, they'll, they'll see it on hold YouTube. On, yeah, they'll see it on the comments. Oh, God dang it. Fuck. God, I hate these. Idiots that do this crap. Get a life, people. So Melissa's asking, uh, so are people supposed to private message you, Brian, for setting up a match? Or what? If you can hear and answer her when you're done trying to get rid of this scammer I believe right. so I just I just hit him alright so Melissa's asking are people <clears throat> supposed to private message you set up a match uh, no what it's going to be is um, as soon as I get it going uh, I need you to join the group that I created called grudge matches group on Facebook uh, the individual will be sitting in those seats will actually be on the, I've got a picture on the, as a profile picture with the different divisions on there. And once, <clears throat> uh, oh, does that four, go, does that go now? It, it doesn't look from this angle that 10 come through the four, you mean? Yeah, no, it does, doesn't he look like, he might be able to rail, squeeze, yeah. yeah. Rail and a four at the same time and get it to c continue forward. We got Bill Larson says, man, everybody's getting hit with these, uh, spammers on YouTube. That's oh. ridiculous. Well, I, I right. was, I fortunately was able to, to hide him and report it right away. So. I gotta go back here. Uh, uh, Jeff Potts says we got a good one at the care room next Sunday. Oh, what's that? Let us know what it is, Jeff. Oh, right here. He says, Lewis and Pam eight ball race to 30. Lewis gets five games on the wire. Really? 14,000 in the middle. They were playing at Shepherd's two matches already, didn't they? And I think Pam took them both. Yeah, I think so. If I remember right. Nice. Do you guys have your live booth set up there yet, uh, Jeff? I, I think you guys were setting up a booth too there. I well, think. they were they were setting up cameras to stream tables. I, I actually talked to Jeff about that um, when they were down here. Uh, unfortunately, I guess a couple of their boards uh, that they had were fire damaged when they had the fire. 
and they're oh. looking at and well, they can't get them replaced because obviously a, a lot of the chips right now coming from overseas is they're they're minimal. So right. Um, so I think they're setting up lives the the live streaming the tables. I don't think they're doing a booth though for commentary, but uh, I could be wrong. Uh, regardless, though, I think obviously what Dave Coles does down there is is absolutely amazing for yes, pool players. He does a great job. Um, so does Jeff and his wife. I mean, they, oh yeah, they, they do, do so they much do down there at the camera room. Yep. tournaments and helping them run. <clears throat> work there. They both work very hard there. Yes, they do. I know Kelly works hard at drinking while she's working. I know that. <laughs> well, I think I probably would, too, if I had the availability mm -hmm. to do that. Let Jeff drive home. Right. Um, so as I was telling people last night as well, uh, we are having a veterans tournament. Here at Sussex Bowl last year we had it up in Appleton, but this year we're having it at Sussex Bowl. And I actually got in contact with a friend of mine who works at a news channel. And we are going to look at having news channel four here for the event, as well as doing a interview. We have a special guest common, a special guest that will be joining us for the tournament. And if you've ever heard of or never heard of Nick Lavery, matter of fact, I'm wearing his shirt today. Nick Lavery. Look him up. A Green Beret that actually lost, he, he was, he's been shot like three or four times in separate occasions. The last time he got shot, it went through his femoral artery. It took uh, an hour for them to medevac him out. They gave him the wrong blood when they did a transfusion and basically almost killed him, but he lived, but he lost his leg. And this guy is such a badass. He went back to active duty and served really? again. Wow. Thank and you for your service. The guy is an absolute incredible, incredible soldier, uh, but he's going to be here for our tournament. Special guest speaker. I don't know if he plays pool or not, but he's going to be here. He's excited to be here, and we're donating. We're raising money to donate to a couple organizations that he recommended. So it, it will be fun. I've so got to get to some of these comments here <coughs> now. And Jeff, Jeff says the real stream is not up, but we are going to stream. Okay, let's send that comment through. And then uh, Ben Schroeder says, uh, how about the money matches? How are those set up? And Jeff says that she does. I think he's referring to <laughs> My the drinking, working yeah. hard. The working hard. <laughs> yeah, the think, working hard. Yeah, that's, that's what he's referring to. Is to <laughs> just the working hard part, I'm sure. <laughs> BB says, I believe is a race to 40. Lewis gets five. Pam won the first two sets, and Lewis won the third. I didn't realize they played a third set. I, I do seem to remember two of them. But All right, well, this, this puts Wes on the hill. Yeah, I do. I think hey, I didn't know they played three. I know they played yeah. two that one time, but they might have played three. Jeff says the same. Pam won the first two matches. Lewis won the third. Oh, okay. They are even on it. money, I think, right now. Two set. Oh, they doubled the amount for the third set. They might have. And they broke even. Wow. So Vince, as far as how these, honestly, the money matches that are being set up now are just people calling each other out. So like, if you know somebody that you've wanted to play for a while. And you're like, oh, hell, let's play on the stream. You want to play for some money? You just call them out, send me a message, and say, hey, is this date available? And if it's available, we'll schedule it in. Um, so that that's how these are happening. And and on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on the group, the Grudge Matches group on Facebook, some of these have been called out on that as well, just saying, hey, you know. We've been wanting to play. Let's play. And that's how they kind of got called out as well. So, But please do me a favor. Anybody that's on that grudge matches group, please don't call out somebody else to, like, play. I, I specifically made that group for money matches to be played on the stream or the grudge matches that are coming up. Please, it, 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 that site, there are other pages out there, groups out there, that if you want to find a money match, go to go there. 
that particular group is specifically for the Outer Point streaming to stream on this. Uh, I had one individual that sent them or put a message out there, hey, I'm looking to match up. And then I had another player say, oh, well, let's match up, but I can only play at the ballroom. Right. And that's not. Uh, okay. So and I, I sent him a private message. I didn't want to put it out. I'm not going to mention his name. I didn't want to put it out there publicly. But I said, hey, dude, can you just do me a favor? Don't call out money matches. This this group was specifically designed just for the Outer Point streaming to, to stream these matches. It, please don't call somebody out and say come to a different location because that's not what this group is for. I said if you want to do that, either create your own group or, you know, there are other pages out there that you can call out. And he said, oh, I apologize. I thought it was on WPPS, and that's why I said that. But he's like, I'll pay more attention next time. I don't know if you want that one read or not. The news. Yeah, yeah, you can read it. It says this from Al Jordan. It says oh. the news. LGB, comma, FJB, exclamation oh. mark. Oh, because yeah. nobody reports it. If not the quarter <clears throat> slots, it will soon be twelve inches wide. I'm not sure what he's referring to. Maybe you know. I'm not quite exactly sure, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. yeah. That's why I wasn't sure if you wanted that. Jason Burdine Burdine Jason Burdine says, "How's it going, guys? Hey, Brian, when is the Veterans Tournament? It is the Veterans Day weekend, November 11th, 12th, and 13th. So make sure you mark your calendars for that one. And if you know any veterans down in the area that want to be involved, let me know. I'll get them in contact with the captains of the respective groups." Oh, I think Mike came out pretty good on that one. That was a that was a good. Excuse me, that was a good shot by Mike. Yeah, he got right in that small window. Well, he he, he rubbed the eleven and opened up that that window, which was great shot. Scott Haskins says, "When you get the menu." Uh oh. Wow, he actually that worked out pretty good. And Vince Roder says, "Thanks, gonna challenge Ro Rhoda soon." Oh, oh, oh. Jim Rhoda. Now I'm connecting the name. Yeah, for a minute there, I couldn't figure out uh, uh, if I knew Vince. All right, Mike puts that down. He definitely needed that game to yeah, get himself did. back in this match because with West being on the hill, he's, he's got to get three in a row now. Still. He's got to get them all. So that was well done by well done by Mike. Good out. Now he just got to turn it on and run a couple more. Scott Haskins, when you, when you get the menu, which menu are you talking about or what? Uh, I'm not quite sure what menu for what. It's Mediu, or I think he spelled the word wrong. It's M-E-D-I-U. Oh. I think I shared it. When you get in the Medi... <clears throat> yeah, now you can read it now. Well, now I gotta get my glasses. Wow, you made me put my. When on you the get the meaty, uh, well, here he's, he's. I think he's explaining it now. Scott says, "Finish the story there, slick." When you get the mild, medium, hot, oh. spicy matches started, put me on the medium list. That's what he's talking about. Well, it's not going to be a list, man. I, I'm not doing that whole list thing because I tell you what, for one. The other, the other stream found out the hard way that if you have somebody controlling the list, good luck. It's it's a lot of work, and I tell you, not that I don't want to, but dude, I am already just burning burning the candle on both ends right now, and uh, you don't need to add any more. I, I I no, I seriously can't. I mean, I, I've I'm planning a juniors tournament here in September. I've got the veterans tournament coming up. I've got so much on my plate right now that, unfortunately, I am not managing a list. So I'm sorry if you're offended by that, but I am not managing a list. If somebody wants to volunteer and help me out with that, hey, we will have a list. But I cannot do it. Sorry. i I, I got to put my foot down eventually here and there. But uh, I cannot do it. So unless I get a volunteer to help me out with that list per se... It's not happening. So what's going to happen is I will update the picture on the, the grudge match group. And whoever's sitting in that seat, 
It is every player's responsibility to call. You can call that player out, and whoever's the first one to call him out and, and agree to a, a time, a date, a game, and an amount. They're the ones that get to challenge the, the uh, individual that's sitting in that seat. Jeff Potts says, I recommend playing the on outer points. The conditions were perfect and easy to get it going to set up the match. I was Thanks, Jeff. shocked how easy the match was set up. It's hard to get six guys able to play at the same time. Yep, you're right, Jeff. Appreciate that. It is set up nice. We've got Scott says, then I'll start with uh, whoever. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an open invitation. And then uh, <laughs> Vince says, I knew you'd eventually come around. My Oh, yeah. He figured I'd eventually uh, figure out who he who he was? Yeah, match the name with the person that I know. <laughs> <laughs> now it all comes together. And Dan Yenner says, okay, Scott, let's get it started. Let's get it out. It started out, Scott said. Or Dan Yenner said, okay, Scott, let's start it out. I got to read that correctly, boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to do this without my glasses. I'm yeah, I know. It sucks. <laughs> I tell you, it's, man, when I hit age 50, is when my eyes started. I've had perfect eyesight. I've had better than perfect eyesight my whole life. I, I was told when I was younger, I had like 10, 20, it was like 10, 20 vision. I could see so far. And it was so nice just my whole life. And, you know, I'd, my friends would be like, yeah, got to put my contacts in. This. And I, I was very blessed with having, you good know, eyes. good eyes. But uh, I tell you what, when I started to have to like push stuff back, and I'm thinking to myself, "What the hell is going on? Why? Why do I have to push this so far back? Why did yeah. it's like I needed more light, and I couldn't. I, I didn't understand because I had no idea what what was going on until I went to the VA and they said, "Well, let's check your eyes." And they put these little things in front of my eyes and they flipped them down. I'm like, "Holy shit, that's clear!" Yeah, you can see what again. The, what, what the hell? Why? How, what'd you do? And they're like, yeah, you're going to need readers. I'm like, yeah, kiss my butt. I'm not, I don't need readers. What are you talking about? He's like, uh, yes, you do. I'm like, God dang it all. Yeah, okay. You suck. Scott says it sounds like a plan, Dan. And then uh, Kenny says I would like to rematch Lyle McDowell again. All right, well, at some point I, I got to, I have to, to get the grudge matches going. I've oh I tell you that was a great effort by Mike. He tried yeah. to he tried to carry him off that one and he almost made that ball. That was very well done. It's Kenny says when you're ready, Scott Haskins, butt burn that shirt. <laughs> ah, don't burn the shirt. Wear it again. That was a great shirt. <laughs> I'm not uh, familiar with the shirt, so I guess I you didn't you didn't see the pictures on the no I can't on see. the stream. Can't say that it brings oh, any here. memory to Hold me. Hold on a second. I think I still have the. I think I still have the pictures yeah, on my phone. You'll have to refresh my memory because I. Uh, okay. Well, you know the the match between Kenny and Lyle, right? Did you yes, watch that one? Yes. So it was. Well, I was here. It, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I commented. Right. On. So oh, that's right. So it was Hill Hill. Remember? Yes. And Kenny missed the three ball in the side, right? Yeah. Okay. So Scotty went out and he actually made this shirt so kenny's kenny's nickname is the kid 57 right yeah, yeah. well according to scott his new nickname is the three ball kid oh no <laughs> i did not see that <laughs> so he made that shirt with all the bling on it and on the front you know he had another it, it says sassy uh, sassy on the front I so like that. scotty made the shirt in uh as a remembrance for Kenny, so he could get in his head, reminding him yeah. about that three ball yeah. shot that he uh, yeah. that he missed. So Ben says, "Dan, what you're not challenging me?" So he's talking about Dan Yenner not challenging him, I guess. Scott Haskins says, uh, "Still waiting to see the video." Yeah, I know. I'm. Uh, I I've been trying to get it off my phone to get it on the YouTube. It's going to be a separate separate video on uh on the youtube channel on outer point streaming so again make sure you get over there and uh 
and subscribe. Once I get the video out there, I'll still send you a notification. I'll I'll highlight it. I'll put it in a, in one of the reels as um, the three ball kid shirt because I actually I go. I caught a video. I videoed when Scott Haskins walked into the pool, and Kenny first saw the shirt. So I've got the video of that. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to put that out there and put that on the channel. Dan is replying to Vince. He says, "No, you're too good for me." That was a great shot by Wes. Wow, he he hit that good. And Vince says, "I want my Calcutta money back." I'm not sure what he's referring to on his Calcutta money. We're gonna watch that Dan shot again by uh, by Wes. That was a phenomenal shot to get on that ten ball. Then too, wow, he hit that good. Great, great shot. So as you can see here, he left himself in great position for that 10 ball. He just wants to make sure he gets a good angle on this 3 or on the 13. Because if he gets good angle on this, this could be it, folks. Wes is on the hill right now. He's taking his time. Uh-oh, oh, no. uh-oh, no, uh-oh. I think he's... I think he can get by it. Oh, that's so close. That sure is. Man, I tell you, that's close. But I, I think how quick he got down on it, I think he's I think he's fine. we got to watch that four ball. Yeah, he was fine. Oh. And he struck that ball really, really well. Dan Yenner says, I kept, your hydrate, I kept you hydrated all day and kicked some back. Okay. All right. Not sure who he's referring to. I have no idea. Tried to sneak that so, before the end of this. Looks like we are possibly closing this one out. Uh, once again, we want to thank everyone. There, there it is. Wes takes the match nine to six. All right. Great shooting by both individuals. And if Mike would have just slowed down a little bit, I think he would have been a little bit closer than this. But it is what it is, and he'll learn from it. Go back and, and watch this, and, and uh, hopefully he'll learn something from it. But. Uh, Appreciate everybody tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, once again, we are out of point streaming. I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, and in the booth with me today was a good friend of mine, Mr. Mike Caveman Parker. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We have a match tonight at 6 o'clock. We've got Mr. Bill Larson and, well, you know what? God, why do I keep saying Mr.? Mr., huh? Yeah, okay, we got, we got Bill Larson and Charlie Wolf that are playing. For five hundred dollars and a race to thirteen, it's just like, really? Are you kidding me? That but those cheap match. asses decided that, that that's what they're gonna do, and um, we will be back at six o'clock. No, I'm just I'm just messing with them. They're they're good guys. Sure. Are. Um, it'll be a good match. I'm while, while we're talking here, why am I? I gotta get us back on the virtual booth here. There so they go. can see that lovely face of yours. Yeah, my, I don't know they want to do that. But, uh, <laughs> we had, what are you uh, talking about? Wes, Wes just in. gave us a very nice, very uh, nice tip, tip of $50. We appreciate wow. that, Wes. Thank we you, certainly Wes. do. Again, every time you know somebody gives us gives the, the stream a tip, half of it goes directly to the individual that helped me out, and the other half goes right into an envelope that's going straight back into the stream to either get a new camera like i actually bought some tv balls uh, with some of the money um any money that comes into it i don't take back for myself i, I make sure the commentators are taking care of it and the rest of it goes right into an envelope and goes right back into the stream to make it even better for for the pool players so that's awesome i appreciate everybody's support um again the contest get out there and uh, get as many subscribers as you can Within the next month, make sure you get their login or their, their username. Send them to me, and whoever gets the most in the next month, I'm going to get you a nice sweatshirt. I'm going to be jumping in on that. Yeah, yeah I, I see Mike Parker going hard at it. So yeah. whoever wants to compete with this man, you better be getting a lot because I, I, he's going to be at the bars literally taking everyone's phone and logging them in and, yeah. and getting their yeah. username. So. Yeah. You got better be on top of your game with this man. I got a house right full here. of people right now. My wife's, <laughs> wife's family's here from South Carolina and visiting. So. Oh, so he's so you got a you got a quick head start on on everyone I'm here. Going to have to try to yes. That's awesome. So again, thank you everybody for tuning in. We will be back at six o'clock. So make sure you're tuned in for that great match, and we will see you next time. Bye everybody. Peace Thanks. out.
something to eat before you leave too? Yeah, 